Last time on Monique Rose. We were quite literally standing on the edge of goodbye. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> then I... Standing, just standing on the no, edge of that's goodbye. That's a song. Wow. Okay, standing on the edge of goodbye like, is my next song. Do I yeah, swear? Yeah, that's it, like an evanescent song. No, this is why you don't know shit. You should shut the fuck up. Uh, it's, it's, sorry, <laughs> this is clearly a Hollow Note style '80s song. Uh, no, sounds like some emo band. Now see, this is exactly why people don't think you black, Wes. Hollow <laughs> Note. What was that? Really? Hollow <laughs> Come on, dude. What's that? Come on, uh, no, you 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 talk shit now, but when I put this together, when I produce the shit out of this song, all I want to know is how much money is Blue Boy making? <laughs> <laughs> all of it. It's in your contract. I get everything. Smooth talking down the digital lane. No one's hard, caught in a peculiar game. Jamie with a shadow for a name. So uh, you want to start off by saying how you owe me five dollars? Oh, I yet to yeah. receive it? Yeah. So, um, so Candy Kane said that she was mm. she was going to come on the show, right? She was going to come gonna, on the show. Th- shut up, real quick. She was going to tell us what's what and how to how to stream without interrupting each other. Mm. And um, you know, she was talking all the, this this big girl game. She's going to come on here and she's going to you know lay the smackdown on us. She bailed twice. That's not so good. it's not a good look uh, candy it's not candy a good game. look you're gonna have to start a new youtube channel and and start over under a different account because you can't show your face around here anymore yeah i, I think that's only right <laughs> <laughs> more like calvin uh, candy cane like the django villain sure you know yeah because she's racist and that, that's the reason <laughs> i've seen racist, the movie clearly yeah <laughs> i've seen the movie uh sloth cat you have anything to say no all right let's keep going <laughs> Did Wes I leave? 
I I told him to shut up, and he he actually shut up. He really did. And now yeah. he won't come back. You're watching Monique Rose on YouTube. Let me look at it so I can fucking read it to you. Okay, fuckface, read it. In box. Let me find this fucking thing. Okay, I'm on my way home. My GPS says 12 minutes. Let me know if the show is still on the road. How do you explain that? Are you going to stop screaming so that I can? What? Well, I'm just screaming just so to make sure that you can hear me because then you have the phone <laughs> in my ear. Okay. I did hear I don't you. know why you've been lying to me. Shut you yelling at the phone from across the room. Yeah, yeah, you're not in rehab. Shut up. Yes, I am. Yeah, you've been acting all this time. No, I'm you not. You've been acting like you had... Okay, Lauren. Yeah. No. Do you yeah, want the you explanation have. or not? No. He does. I hate <laughs> when he does this. I want an explanation. He doesn't even give her a chance to talk. He already has an explanation. He knows, right. he, he knows what he thinks happened. He's just like waiting to hear that. So confirm it so that he can yell at you for me. Yeah, confirm whore. it or I'll berate you. All right, a minute in. And, and so far, she is not giving an explanation. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep track of this. <laughs> well, dude, I think the record, though, is Ramona and the doctor sing her naked. He asked her so many times and she teases. She keeps teasing. Okay, I'll tell you. But first, but, you need to tell me. <laughs> but at least the, the difference there is at least Lauren gave her chances to respond. He's not even giving Tiffany the an opportunity to reply to him here. Yeah, yeah. It's kind of obvious from from that message. So stop lying. Listen, fat fucker. I was watching a movie. Do you know fat how to use voice to text? Do you know how to use voice to text? Don't call me fat fucker again. Don't degrade me. Fucker. I want you to fucking talk to piece of shit, piece of shit. What? You attempted to molest a child. You couldn't even do that right. Oof. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> you better find a different fucking way to talk to me, Casey, because that ain't going to do it. I'll hang up on you. It's still crazy to me that he believes this is Casey Morrow. And she just called because... him a child, an attempted child molester, and that didn't even deter him. Well, think well, that would have been like enough right there, huh? No, she just needs to figure out a different way to talk to him. It's Casey Morrow. Yeah, you can't let that girl go. And this was the first iteration of Casey Morrow, so this was even more special. Not the fake ones. This was the the first. Like he'd never been he had never been catfished by a Casey Morrow before. Who would have <laughs> thought that that would work that many times? When I heard it was when I heard it worked the last time, I was like, "You have to be fucking kidding me!" Yeah. You, there's no way that Lorne believes he's talking to Casey Morrow again. With a robot <laughs> as his other girlfriend. I mean, I, there, like, when I heard about <sighs> it, I couldn't even decide what was more fucking ridiculous. The fact that he was in a throuple with Casey Morrow or that the other person was the robot. <laughs> I. That's tough because both uh. are very dumb. <laughs> Casey I, actually, like the, I actually don't know if I have an answer for that because yeah, dating a robot is, is very stupid, but getting yes. catfished by Casey Morrow three times <laughs> three is very times. stupid too. <laughs> like three different people to it's it's nuts. It's, yeah, yeah. He's three very different idiot. people. Yeah, you're right. Right. Three very different people, three very different voices, but not one of them willing to go on video and show, be like, hey, hey Lauren, it's me. Not one of them. Well, Casey tried, but her camera wasn't working. Yeah. I can see you, babe. Can you see me? <laughs> You're off again. Just gas like the fuck. Of course out of you will, because that's always what you do. Yeah, you You're... fucking call me a child oh, monster again. I'll hang. I think I just heard someone. Uh, someone drop in. Sloth, you dare? Sloth cat. Sloth cat. Finally. Hello. Hello. Can you hear me? You're Barely. very quiet. Oh no. How about now? Oh, yeah, now, now oh, there we go. He's at a sunken place. Thanks for showing up. All right, hey, man. It was, it was an adventure getting here. I'm telling you. You don't need that. <laughs> What's the story? How you got there? I'm always up for a good sloth cat life story. Yeah. Yeah, let's go, well, Black Kramer. Well, well, let me tell you what happened when I just pulled up, okay? It was a dead squirrel in the middle of the street, okay? My next door neighbor went out. To the middle of the street, picked this squirrel up, 
by the tail, <laughs> went to my other neighbor's house, went to the backyard with this dead squirrel, did not return with the squirrel. <laughs> I don't know what's going on with these people, but I think it's time for me to move. They kind of are they are they enemies? They're not enemies, they're pretty nice people. Okay, hold so, on. But, but how the only way you would know all this is if instead of coming upstairs to do what <laughs> you stood there or sat in your car to watch what this man was doing. Okay. I support this. If, if someone you picked saw up a dead somebody the pick, up a, <laughs> if you saw on, somebody no. pick up a yeah. dead squirrel, would you like to know what the hell they do with the squirrel? Yeah. If I had a regular life, yes. But I don't. So I don't know if that would move the needle enough for me to have to stay and watch. Well, I'm, I'm he just lives an exciting lifestyle. That's the it's, problem. He's not well, excited by squirrels on the road. But that's that's for another time. Listen, TLI, did, has anyone put up a LinkedIn page in the past week dedicated to taking you down? No, not yet. Okay, well then let's we'll talk about what an exciting life is when Slothcat uh, reads right. the bully comment of the week. Or an IMDb page to take me down. Yeah, well, that's true. Oh, that's God. People are, people are using scary. the weirdest websites to talk shit about us. <laughs> we, we, we <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Crystal's made some new uh, some new posts, and they're amazing. <laughs> like, we upload videos a week. You can go to the stream and do it. Yeah, that way I'll see it. it. I'll see it happening. Yeah. IMDb. <laughs> <laughs> All the damning info about me is on Neopets. I've never <laughs> seen it yet. <laughs> up on you. Right, you're not. Don't a call me an owl to a kid. You're not. A lion kid has never been inside a kid. Wow. Don't <laughs> fucking call me a shit again. Right, you're not a child molester. You're absolutely right. You tried to be one. No, no I didn't even try to be one. Well, Chris Hansen. And his fucking funkies, fucking big and ball and earth, the disgusting bitch, to have a Tinder account where he was trying to fuck a kid, ask him if she's the one that found it. I don't want to ask him. Wow. And him. Ember found a Tinder account with Chris Hansen and Xavier looking for children. And why is he so mad at that? Because he do he did the exact same thing. Well, yeah, but it's hypocritical. Like, why do they get to do it? Except why do they get to do it and be hypocritical about it? They're going to tell me I can't do it. Meanwhile, they're on Tinder just doing it in the open. And Ember found it and didn't report it to the police. She reported it to <laughs> I mean, he, he just acts so disgusted over it. And it's like, you don't even know. Yeah, do And you did who, it, too. Anyone who successfully got away with what Lauren really wants to do is really is upsetting to him. And he thinks they're disgusting people. Yeah, and it like fits his narrative that everybody in that show was like secretly a yeah. pedophile too, and they yeah. were just trying yeah. to, you know. Fucking dad, your fucking dad is a cock sucking piece of shit. Well, the you know how much he tried to ruin your fucking life. I am the only fucking kid that you have had a good fucking life and a, and a fucking decent life. Imagine that. That motherfucker is. Fucking gross. What's that? Your only chance at a decent life is Lauren Armstrong. Yeah, that's crazy. A house with Ooh. three walls. Oh man. Yeah. You'd have to be pretty low if that's your one chance. Well, I mean, even even the uh alleged prostitute said she would rather sleep in her truck. Like she'd, <laughs> rather, she'd rather risk the elements. When when your when your house has a, a transmission and a stick shift, and you could park it in a in a parking lot at the Walmart, and she's like, "No, you know what, Lauren, I'm good." Yeah, that's a step up. Yeah, truly. I'm good. At like, least I'm for him to be the, your last chance, you'd have to be like in in the sewers, actively being sodomized by Pennywise, and like that's then like, he's <laughs> the only thing that can save you. <laughs> that's the step up. That's <laughs> then you go to Lauren, like, "Oh, thank God, I'm out of that sewer." <laughs> I'm gonna, you know what? <laughs> you call me a fucking cow monster. That pisses me right off. I, you try to I, fucking do that. The whole fucking time that. you tried to do that. You a just pedophile to. is what you call me. Right, you're a pedophile. You're a pedophile piece of fucking shit. Bullshit. Pedophile. Pray, you bitch, is pedophile. pedophile. Oh, so what is it then? What's your word? <laughs> What's the word for what you did? <laughs> 
I mean, you're going to call me out and you're still going to fucking do it. <laughs> you're fucking maybe talking to some of the fucking cop sucker. What? You're fucking lying to me the whole time, Casey. <laughs> no, I'm not Lorny. Oh, really? You weren't lying to me at all? You're telling me yeah. you were in rehab? No, you're not in fucking rehab. Yes, I am. You could have fucking called me earlier. Did you know? Was you in four seconds of Pablo? Probably. Because you can't well, keep your fucking Pablo? face away from some motherfucking cough. Just some, like jealous, throwaway Lauren? guy, never mentioned again. Yeah, there, they, there were a lot of guys. <laughs> that, you just dropped the name one time. And then maybe Lauren would even bring it up with, like a month later when he had an anger stack. He'd bring up some guy that was like a Remember throwaway. Pablo? Yeah, fucking Pablo. <laughs> Like when he had like a son, I think too, it got mentioned once, and then he just forgot, and then just decided, yeah, I guess he's not, yeah, it doesn't exist anymore. Well, and, um, what was the uh, was it Derek? Was that the brother? Right, right, yeah, yeah. The, the, like the, the PSA call who just who just disappeared. Mm-hmm. You're trying to make me out to be such a fucking bad guy, huh? Is I thought you were right? fucking something more know. special than those fucks on the internet. Thanks a lot. You're really drunk right now, aren't you? What do you want? Why are you calling You're me back? You're fucking game, Casey. What do you want? Why are you calling me Call back? Me. You've had your game. What do you want? You've had your game and then some. And then some? I didn't call you back. You called me. I didn't call. I can hang up very fucking easy. I didn't call you. You called me. That's what you do. What do you want? I want to talk to you, Lauren. What do you want? I want to work it out with you. Yeah, well, fuck you, prove it. Come off the main and you fucking live with me. No. Get the fuck away from you, disgusting <laughs> bitch. Yeah, see, you just said no. Second you don't want me. Down. You're a fucking daddy. Second You're 30 down. years old. You don't want me. You want fucking daddy. <laughs> oh, come on. Are you fucking kidding me? So I can get screamed at at your trailer? Yeah. Is that what I have to look forward to? Okay. Mm-hmm. You love you. You want to go through anything? What? It's all based on love. Screaming at somebody is based on love. Is I, that what you're saying? Your fucking faggot ass father keeps sending me fucking messages. Yeah. <laughs> Why? Tell you your home. Why don't you tell him? He fucking piece of shit. Why don't you tell him? Stop sending me fucking messages. No, I don't have to tell him anything. He seems out your home. I'm not. Seems out your home. I'm not home, Lauren. Yeah. I'm not from, home, Lauren. From your message, you I'm not you, home, Lauren. From your message, from your message, you said you're home. No, Give me I'm five not. minutes. I need to fucking. I'm in the shower. I need to soak my head. I'm in the fucking shower. Okay. Give me five minutes, and I will call you. Five. I don't know how five minutes. <laughs> I need to soak, soak my head in the fucking <laughs> shower. Yeah, Damn. just soak your head. I hope you don't drown yourself. Okay. Aww. I Kids headset on in the shower. Have you what caught- do you want? Oh, that you think so? How else is he talking to her? Is it a waterproof headset? Probably not. Or does he have the head sticking out of the shower? I think he has his head sticking out of the shower. Yeah. Whose cat is that? No, oh, that was mine. All right. Why don't you pay attention to your cat and don't be an asshole? I am all, paying attention to him. God, you all heard that, buddy. Put your ass down. Nope. No. Well, then you better go dunk nope. your head again. <laughs> I'm not happy right now. I know you're not. I'm far from fucking happy. You, I know. You're not in rehab. Yes, I am. You've been lying to me? You are you are not in rehab. Yes, I am. You're not going to tell me you're in fucking rehab when, you gotta, when I get a fucking message from you that you're home. Listen. Don't fucking lie to me. How don't, about if you no, listen? Don't fuck. How about yeah, if you your listen? fucking message you know said it all, Casey. Do you know how to do that? Your you fucking, fucking message said it all. How can you call me a fucking idiot when you're the one to send the fucking message that said I'm on my way home, my GPS is reading such and such? Because I've already I'm fucking to real. explain it to you. You're not in fucking real. <laughs> She's tried to explain yeah, it. Yeah. a lot of fucking lies. She really has. And he hasn't listened once. No. Because uh, she already had an explanation, which is a, a reasonable explanation if she would let him get get it out is it a reasonable explanation i think so for i mean if if lauren if well let's let let's let her give the ex- explanation first but i do believe 
for Lauren and his lack of understanding of technology and his willingness to believe he wants to believe so badly because of that FOMO dick. Yes, I think it's a fine. I think it's a fine excuse. Oh, oh no! And I know your ass. <laughs> no, you don't. You're not even letting. Like him fucking play. hell! I know goddamn well a lot of lies been told. No, you don't. Oh you don't yeah, I do. You don't even listen to what I say. Really? Really? Yeah, I told like you. This janitor, is, this janitor at this fucking place that you were at. How about? He wasn't really trying to fucking make it move on you. That was all fucking set up to make me fucking mad. See my reaction. Tim is all that fucking stupid bullshit that was done you before. Shut your stupid ass. Yeah, like I'm a fucking rookie at this. At what? <laughs> getting what you were a rookie at? Like, I'm a rookie at you guys' That's games. It's your point. Can't finish. What game? Right? This You're not really he really is flexing. Like, I know you guys fuck with me all the time. I'm not a rookie at this. Why are you allowing them to do it over and over again? I was going to say, you're not a rookie at this. You only found out because they sent you a text on accident. Like, and and didn't, fi yeah. didn't figure anything out. Yeah. Well, he knows it. He, he knew from the minute he got on the phone, he knew exactly what was going on. Why is this call 33 minutes? Why is there ever a call after this? You are being fucked with. That is not Casey Morrow. <laughs> like, he's a rookie at this. <laughs> You're not even letting me explain to you. You're not even letting no. me explain to you. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. Not right now, I'm not. I'm okay. too fucking pissed off to hear anybody. How about if bullshit. you go put your head underwater until you feel better? I've been under the fucking shower for 10 minutes, and I just tried that. And I'm well, still not fucking shower, settled fill down. Up your sink <laughs> and dunk your face. I'm not doing it in, in the sink either. It don't make a fucking difference. Gave my fucking heart to somebody that doesn't even want to be fucking real. I wish I was there so that I could hold your head underwater. Oh. Yo, I'm sure she could fucking down me. Well, yeah. Yeah. Hi. Yeah. <laughs> Day long. Yeah. You cannot text me or call me. Try to find out this shit. You can fucking call me at any time, Paul, that you want your own voice and not have to whisper. You know what, what that tells me? You've been lying to me. What? I should tell you that I was calling you when I shouldn't have been, and I had to keep it quiet. No, you. Well, and, and you haven't been me. keeping it quiet since you've been calling me tonight. Let's bust out the mini syllables, Lauren. <laughs> and that fucking, that fucking text that you sent was supposed to go to somebody else. Obviously. No, it wasn't. No, it, it wasn't. was not supposed to come to me. Because let, let, let me read it. Let me read that to you again. Let me read. Let me read. What about your dad? You gonna say he's fucking brilliant? Yeah. What about I'm not talking about my dad. <laughs> is your Brad? Is your dad brilliant? Is my Brad? <laughs> is your dad brilliant? <laughs> is he a genius? Is he fucking smart? Is he a good guy? What? what the fuck? What are you even saying? It's not a hard random. fucking question. Is your dad a good guy? What was that, Blue? He just went off on a total different... Yo, this man, this man Bunny Trails, T. McNabb's all over the place, but I see where he's trying to go with it. Like, you can almost, when he's drunk, like, yes, he's ridiculous, but you can you can see where he's going with this. Where is he going with it? I can't well, tell. Well, like, you you call me a pedophile. You call me an alleged pedophile. You call me a piece of shit for what I have did. But all I ever hear you do is talk up your dad, who is also a very bad person. So which one is it? How am I a piece oh, of okay. shit when your dad has also done shit, but you never say, so talk some shit about your dad right now. Let me hear it so I know you're real. And his shit cancels mine out. Exactly. <laughs> his shit is worse than your shit. So... How am I bad? Yeah, really, I've done nothing wrong. <laughs> well, Lauren, Lauren's lawyer did say that you can talk to kids sexually, you just can't act on it. Yeah, exactly. Mm. His, his lawyer... Who, That's a good lawyer right there. Yeah, yeah I mean, because it's a lie, but, you know, whatever. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> whatever. Maybe his lawyer was trying to get him to go back to prison. Yeah, yeah oh, Lauren, no, totally. It's fine if you do that. Just, like, don't do go it, there. But then send me the chat log. I'll put him in a file. That way, if the police are Please never come by. I've got your back. No. You don't ever fucking compare me to your fucking dad. When did I compare you? If you try to compare me to your fucking dad, 
I will not have ever, ever fucking have anything to do with you. When did I Your compare you? Your dad is a disgusting piece of shit. When did I compare you? I was just making sure you never do. Yeah, that's it. Oh, well, but you I want an for that fucking text message that you sent. Are you going to text message for that text message you sent? Because you you're, you're, you're nine obviously and, not in the room. Nine and a half minutes and he still hasn't let her just say she's tried at least twice. I Frank, he's not even trying out. to get an explanation. <laughs> Rehab. Are you gonna listen? Not in rehab, obviously. Are you gonna listen? Well, I, I don't know. It depends on if you're gonna tell me the truth or a lie. Because if I, it, it if I suspect even matter you, what I said. It doesn't even matter what I said. If I suspect that you're trying to tell me a lie, I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna fucking sign her right and then raise them. Oh, no. oh, no. I hope you don't get mad. <laughs> Are you ready? I was watching I'm not saying anything. <laughs> Oh, so <laughs> close. <laughs> I was I was a fucking question. God, shut Holy up. Holy fuck, man. Well, wow, start talking. Shut up. Five times she has tried to say it. Five <laughs> fucking times. We're at ten minutes, and he's still ranting and raving. I was watching a movie. Do you know what talks to text is? Nope, not even a little bit. No, because you're retarded. <laughs> Here's how it works. You hold down a button. Because well, I don't spend my time watching it. movies, eh? He said, he said, because you're retarded. No, because I don't spend my time watching you. <laughs> <laughs> so, yes, Blue Boy. Yes, it is a fine excuse because he has no idea what it is. Yeah, he thinks it's a movie? It, well, he just he doesn't. <laughs> under, if he believes you can watch him on Google Maps live, you, just, you can just key in Warren Armstrong and you follow him on Google Maps. Why wouldn't he believe that this was something picked up from a movie being watched that your phone just automatically transcribed? <laughs> it's a reasonable excuse. Not for drunk Lorne, but sober Lorne will be able to buy that. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. and, uh, and, you're talking to it, and you talk into it. It prints out what you're going to say onto a text, and then it sends it. I didn't know that that's how it worked, because on my other phones... It waits until you're ready to send it, and then you can select to send it. Okay. But this time, yeah. on this phone, I've never used it before. It just picked up what was going on, and it sends it right away. Yeah. I was watching a movie. movie. Believe it or not, I don't give a shit. What if I, uh, what if I find somebody else that, that knows how this shit works, and, <laughs> and they check it out? Go ahead. Do you want to call Emma? Oh No, I'm not talking about Emma. I'm not talking about anybody from the internet. Call whoever you want. And I and I have a, a good friend back here that, yeah. that I grew up with okay, that good. actually works on computers and shit. And and sure. No one more knows has a, has a phone that is a smartphone. No one more knows knows how to work on computers. His sister, he said his sister was really good at the computer, probably because she could use Microsoft Word and knew the names of the different internet bro uh, browsers. And she can tell when someone is a catfish by talking to them for five minutes. And when they say, yeah, which, you know, most people probably will be able to understand if this person's full of shit or not, unless they got that FOMO dick like Lauren does. Are those women who fall for the Nigerian uh, love scammers? Who, they'll, they'll tell them, yeah, I'm, I'm in Britain. I'm, a, I'm an engineer in Britain, but they talk like, yes, I'm an engineer in Britain. <laughs> I'm on an I'm, oil rig. <laughs> and, I love, and I love you. Please, sweet, send me money. Um, yeah. I don't want you to ever fucking lie to me. There's no fucking need at all to Kate, lie to never me. Lie to you. Especially okay, if you so, love me. So, just for the record, no fucking... he has gotten the explanation. Yes. Okay. Yeah, he's gotten it. At 11 minutes and 27 seconds, he has the explanation. But they can move on now. Yeah, they're now they can just get on with their night and be, and be in love. Great. Perfect. No need at all to lie to me about anything. You fucking father is a fucking bitch. <laughs> Ever seen him face to face, I'm going to beat his ass. Go ahead. Yeah. Okay, dude. Oh, 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 oh. He he's ahead. the worst at... This is not he's how you talk to him. <laughs> Your fucking father's a fucking bitch. <laughs> I'm going to beat his ass. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's pissed off. He's pissed off. And he keeps getting compared to this guy. So Lauren's going to show who's more alpha. Which and, one's uh, the bigger sex offender? Well, yeah, and and Tiffany doesn't seem Tiffany doesn't seem as impressed with uh with Lauren as he'd like her to be. Please, like what I think what Lauren wants is her to say, "No, please leave him alone. He's an old man." 
Or no, please leave him alone. He's my dad. But instead, That's she's true. Like, I didn't even think of that. Where it's like, Lauren, you're gonna beat up an old man. Yeah, he's gonna fight. He's gonna, and you know, he's not gonna walk up to him and be like, "Hey, I'm Lauren." He's, he wants to sucker punch him. Oh, and, like, he for sure was tank, sucker punch. And then run. Yeah. Uh, so, so no, and Tiffany's not doing any of that. She's like, Psh, "Go ahead, bitch." There, there's another message from him. Hang on. Oh, you, that yeah. One. Okay. I'm sorry. The the and right while this is going on. Um, Pete is supposedly messaging Lauren and threatening him at the same time. I don't know who was who was actually sending him the text, but it really it really infuriates him. That fucking piece of shit had the nerve to call me a fucking child monster. You really need to take they the child monster thing one... off the table. Well, he 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 called me that. Your father called me that. Why are you or putting it on me? He's not even your real fucking father. But why are you putting it on he, me? He's not even your real father, is he? He's not <laughs> even your real father, is he? Lauren, you know what is really sad? Dale wasn't your real father, and you act like him leaving led you to molest children. So what Wait, are you talking about? Why is he now accusing him of not being her real dad? Well, I don't know, but was it something that happened in the universe where maybe he wasn't her real I don't know, because he's like asking for confirmation. Maybe, like, maybe this is Amber. A maybe Ember had, like, planted some seeds that he wasn't the real father because of, you know, mm -hmm. because of some of the, like, the sex, sex shit that was supposedly going on. Maybe she planned, I don't know. So, Lauren is trying to, Lauren is fishing for a, yes, a confirmation here. It sounds like. You know who would know? Tiffany. She should be here. Yeah, happy birthday, Tiffany. Yeah. Happy birthday, Tiffany. Oh, shit. You know what? I completely forgot to do this. It is her birthday. Um, where is it? There it is. But this is for my very good friend. Tiffany Lockhart. Here we go. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear. Tiffany Lockhart. Happy birthday to you and many more. Sherry, shut your fucking whore mouth! That just went over the air. <laughs> that just went over the just, air. I just greatest, the greatest Lorne live stream of all time. I mean, that shit hey, was man, That was a work incredible. of art right there. Oh, no, don't do it. I that saw was a little a work of art. And? and you know, you can ask TLI. <laughs> oh my God. Sloth Cat knows art. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'd almost forgotten. I, Thank I, you I've so never, much for the refresher. I've never wanted you to, to, to have a catchphrase less than I do today. <laughs> <laughs> Especially if it's that. got me involved. Yeah, why is TLI? Why do you have to rope him into yeah. this bullshit? Hey, because you know, TLI is a accredited member of the internet, so yeah, yeah no, that's true. <laughs> I did get my card in the mail. Putting it on you, I'm just, I just asked you a question. I just asked you a question. There's no putting it on you. I just asked you a question. Why are you asking me a question? You You're not even your real answer. father. You have to throw that if in my he face. Is he your real father or not? I am asking. You keep you fucking know talking that. over me. You Answer already me know training. that. Well, tell me. I want to hear from your mouth. Your mouth. I already told you at the beginning that he's not my real No, mother. you did not. Oh, told Emma. Yes, I did. Oh, see? I told he's you. Told, you told Emma. So he had heard from Emma and probably swore he wasn't going to say shit. And then he just throws it in her face like that. And then tells her when she says, I told you. He's like, no, you told Ember. That's so instead of waiting up. for her yeah. to want to tell him. But and then even when she says, "I told you that in the beginning," instead of ex like letting her believe that he wants her to know that he got it from Ember, even though he he knew he wasn't supposed he wasn't supposed to know. So he used it as a weapon and yeah. snitched on somebody. Yeah. So even if if Tiffany if this was real, would Tiffany want anything to do with this guy who she knows just outed some information that he wasn't supposed to have, and he held on to it until they were in a fight so he can throw it in her face. Some, that's love he is he is really he's like one of those those fuck like a teenage he's a teenage girl he's a drama queen 
He lives off of this shit. He loves this. This was Lauren at his finest when he's able to constantly be mixed in drama and fighting with people and saying, I never want to talk to you again, and then calling them back and saying, Why didn't you call me back? It like it's 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 middle school shit, but he this is this is Lauren in his prime. Like he loves these relationships. He loves when he thinks he has one over on you. He like in this it, situation. Yeah, he saved it in his back pocket until so you're gonna call me a pedophile? That's not even your real fucking dad. How about that? <laughs> No, I told you, Emma. Emma you, told me. Lauren, I remember telling That's you. That's dog sucker just fucking texting me again. <laughs> that fucking guy, he, he's, he's got some serious fucking issues. Yeah. Go ahead and read whatever he said. Go ahead. Why are you so gay? <laughs> Do anything you can to get a plan. What? To get a response That's not even that bad. <laughs> Same thing you did the other night. Throw the fucking tantrum. Pathetic fucking tantrum. Yeah. So then, why are you giving him a reaction then? I'm not answering him, so he's he's not getting anything from me. You <laughs> I'm just sure. fucking pissed off. Uh, yeah, but I stopped the other night too, and you still kept going after I fucking stopped answering him. What happened right. to you tonight? You're so mad. Okay, well then let's talk yeah. about something else. No, you ask me a question, and I'm gonna I'm gonna oh. answer you. Okay. The message that I got, mm-hmm. that, you, that you sent through, well, you're saying you're on your way home, and your GPS was reading, da 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 da. Mm-hmm. That's the thing that fucking set me off. Okay, Nothing good. else well, before that set me off. She that okay, set good. me she off. That. Okay, good. So now you know the explanation. You know the reason why you got that. And we can drop uh, it. I still, I still don't want my, my brain has not processed it yet because I, I still have not listened to it all the way. Surprise, surprise. It's just I'm trying to calm down. I still haven't thought through it all the way. <laughs> Partial thoughts. And, yeah. and be relaxed and not react before I get a chance to actually listen to you about the explanation. What? Dirt bag sent me another message. I ain't reading that. Read it. Okay. I don't care. Uh, uh, I, I, uh, did you even talk to him? I haven't talked to him, but I'm sure I'm going to hear about this. So, so why? Is it, it, going to scare you? How old are you? Pretty scary. 30? He's pretty scary, Lauren. You don't. It, you haven't been scary? around him. I don't give a fuck about that stupid fuck. Yeah, you obviously don't give a fuck. You're not in his presence. There's a lot more people that are more scary than that stupid bitch. Name seven. He, 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 he's hey, fucking scaring me. That's why he stop. keeps fucking sending me messages. You can stop. Well, you need to get out of there. Well, you need to stop. Well, I don't want you going back there. Yeah. But you don't I, care. I you all, don't. You, all you fucking care about is I'm going, I got to do what daddy says. He ain't even your fucking daddy. I got daddy by the balls right now because I know the name of his fucking company. And he doesn't want the feds getting involved in his company. He don't want the feds going through his books. <laughs> so I get daddy by the fucking balls. How about if you just drop it? The smart he's motherfucker he is. He ain't very fucking you're smart. Really, you're really huh? upsetting me, Lauren. You're really upsetting me. Please stop. Well, I'm, I'm pissed off because you're, you're finding any reason to stay out there with daddy. I'm in rehab, you stupid shit head. Yeah. After rehab. And stop screaming at me to come out there right now. Well, I'm, I don't mean right now. I mean after rehab. You were screaming before. And I don't mean to scream. I'm just right fucking now. pissed off. I don't well, mean to of, scream. I'm pissed off right now. Instead of not meaning to do it, just don't do it. Hell no. It has nothing to do with me. You're pissed off at him. Be pissed off at him. Say whatever you want to him. But don't scream at me. I'm not meaning to scream at you. I'm wanting to drive my fist down his his fucking throat. Then say all of that to him. Leave me out of it. But I don't want you going back to that house. And stop throwing. But I can't. I can't control you. Stop. I can't throwing, control you. Stop throwing the abuse in my face. Well, then I need you to stop calling me a predator. A, a predator. A... So, because she's calling him a predator and a pedophile, he's going to throw the fact that she was abused as a child in her face. Yeah, it's only fair. It's a healthy relationship. <laughs> if you're going to call me an abuser, I'm going to remind you that you're a victim. 
Now what? Now what? Like <laughs> a pedophile, a child molester, because none of that shit is funny to me. So you might mean that as a joke, but it's not funny to me. No, I don't mean it as a joke. <laughs> none of it is funny to me. I didn't mean so it as a joke. It's funny you disgusting. Like, yeah. says that she it's loves real. Me. I don't need her saying that. It's on your record. And now I have to consider where I live it's, if you're there. Everything it's not changes. even a joke to me. It's not even a joke to me. I don't find any of that funny. Nobody thought that it was funny. Yeah. I've had 11 years worth of knowing that. Well, the people on the so internet don't think it's funny. That. They think all of it's funny. I, uh, and I don't know what the fuck the people on the internet issue is. They're fucking weird. That's all I know. That's true. Well, they just Why think the it's fuck funny. Why the you fall around somebody that get caught up in that shit? Well, they're, it's that's, not that's about fucking stupid. it's not about being obsessed with you as if you're like this icon or celebrity. They're laughing at you. Well, Tiffany, don't talk. They need it. There's somebody, somebody singing is not good enough for them to listen to. <laughs> no, they're laughing at you. I don't know what people are on there. Just make, they're, they're, laugh. <laughs> they're, they're laughing at you. So my singing's not good enough for them to listen to. <laughs> he really does believe that some of those people were coming there. Yes, yeah, some of them are there. Some of them were there to make fun of him, sure. But I would what... say 0% of them are there because of the singing. Okay, zero, but that in, that's the reality. But in Lauren's mind, what percentage do you think he believe were there because they like this thing? Um, at least half. Yeah. See, I'd say more. I'd say he believes more. I want to say like seventy five percent, because Lauren wouldn't want to believe that half of people hated him. That's true. Lauren probably thinks most people like him. Eight out of ten. Eight out of ten people are there because they like Lauren. One out of those ten is there out of curiosity, and then the other one out of ten is a fucking Church of Cobb piece of shit. With their fucking bowl of sugar, yeah. <laughs> singing. No, they're not. I know a lot of people are there. I know a lot of people are that are on there for just my singing. Oh, the internet people? The ones that you say lie to you all the time? Do you know what how easy it is to say, oh my god, your singing is great. They want you, you to know, do more. You know what the sad so thing you, is? You give them more to laugh at. You know what the sad thing is? What? What? Is it, it was long before the internet ever came along that people always fucking said that to me. That they love my singing. singing. Shitty. Oh. <laughs> no, they did love it. Are you going to keep on me? Don't think it. You better stop speaking and stop your fucking degrading shit if you want to fucking keep me because I'm not going to put up with that. Yes, you will. Yeah. No, I won't. Yeah, you will. You'll you're put up with anything. Me. You're smoking. You're fucking smoking crack. If you think I'm gonna put up with that bullshit, I would love to smoke crack. It would make life so much easier right now. <laughs> no, I'm sure you would, but you don't yeah. love getting off it, do you? It sucks getting off it. What? You don't know. He said he never did it. You've never yeah, quit a thing I'm in your life. Lots of well, that's not true. He's quit lots of oh, jobs. Um, he got fired from jobs. Well, I mean, okay. He, but he claimed he quit the uh, the telemarketing job, even though we all know he got fired. He definitely got fired. I think what happens is they tell Lauren he's fired. He goes, you can't fire me because I fucking quit. But I'll actually yep. fire me because I need the unemployment. Right? Like, officially. That sounds yeah. like something he'd say. Yeah. Officially, yes, I'm fired. But unofficially, unofficially, between you and I, you can't fire me because I fucking quit. He just rips his clip off, tie off, and just throws it at, them, at his boss. But then, but then he needs it back because it's his only, it's his only clip on top. Yeah, I need that. Actually, need that. Back. You think he wore a tie with the short sleeve? Like, do you think he dressed up for that job, but still wore denim shorts? Which job? The telemarketing job. <laughs> oh, yeah, um, <laughs> yes, yeah. I think like, Lauren. I think I've Lauren never had work. a telemarketing job. But I'm wondering if you had to dress nice for for it, or if you can just walk in there looking like a hillbilly. Well, it depends. Right? I, there, there were some places. I know there were some places in San Diego where you you need to do a business like straight business wear for telemarketing jobs. <laughs> because if you if you feel professional, you behave professionally. I feel like that'd be a deal breaker for Lauren. Is if he had to if he had to wear nice clothes to a job, he would rather be unemployed. Yeah. No. No. You know what? 
I, I fought Lauren on a lot of things, but there have been jobs I've turned down in the past because I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to do that. Like if I'm not if I'm not dealing in a front facing role where I'm like talking to to people, what the fuck difference does it make? That's true. Uh, so yeah, um, I, I in in Lauren's position, where where what the kind of money Lauren's going to be making and the kind of work he's going to be doing, let that man come in 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 his Bobby Hill outfit. It doesn't matter. No one's. But would you Lauren turn is- a job down if you had no job? Or would you take the job and then look for something else in the meantime? What I, well, Lauren... what I would, yeah, no, I would, I would, well, yes, I would do that. I would take the job while looking for another job. Because Lauren, if you, it's a deal breaker if he has to wear anything that's not a de- denim shorts to work. It's too dressy. To um orientation you know at one that? of the jobs. What up? Well, that's what we'll fix all that if everybody just wore onesies. Yeah, do you wear your onesie to work? Yeah, if it's everybody a... did it, it's no problem. Where do you work? <laughs> and you get to wear a onesie. You get to wear a onesie. <laughs> you you work at a onesie kiosk, don't you? At the mall, bed, bath, and beyond. <laughs> yeah, you have to. Well, you don't. Think well, really. see, I can't wear it. Actually, I'm wearing it under my clothes. Oh, oh like mm. like how a Mormon wears those long underwears underneath their or clothes. Like how Michael Jordan wore his college <laughs> basketball shorts underneath his Bulls basketball shorts. It's a true yes. story. No, that, so, that's that's true. weird. That is a true story. So and you're just bobbing around in a in a business suit with a with a sloth uh, onesie underneath it. Yeah, especially oh, in the it, winter. Must time. get pretty warm. Real warm. All itchy and sweaty. Is your <laughs> is the clothing over it also a onesie, but it looks like a professional business outfit? You know what? I had an idea to do that, you know, just to put the pants and the shirt connected. <laughs> You know, You're like thinking it's a of a onesie, romper. but it's you know those exist. No, see, no, no, see, no, no, no. no. Uh-uh. I don't <laughs> need it to be just a shirt, right? Yeah, you want to wear gray. a man's romper. And you connect that to some yeah. blue jeans, right? Yes. Jeans, which you connect those to some, you know, some Ooh. things that look like shoes, but They're not like actually. Me. Why does yeah. everything have to be connected? Because it's a onesie, bitch. What <laughs> is a onesie? I don't think but, one but means why? a onesie. But why? But why? Does, what, it, it's the clothing. It does, you know? What makes a onesie more comfortable than just having on clothes? Oh, a lot. You know, um, clothes get all jumbled up. Onesies, they just, you know, they flow. They're nice and cool. They keep you warm. Um, they, they, They're nice and cool and keep you and warm. And they keep you warm. Yeah. Mm. All right, all right. We're we're done. Do you have like winter onesies and summer onesies? Yeah, you get some that's got like thicker to it, thickness to it, and thin. You know, <laughs> he's like got a linen onesie ones. that he wears yeah. to the beach. You no, know, you got a. I have a nightmare before Christmas one. That's a thing. <laughs> that's a summer one. Do you really have that? Of course he does. Yeah. Do, you, do, you think, do you think this way too specific? Flexing about the amount of adult ones. <laughs> <laughs> these are all these, these are all true things that he should never ever talk about. Just like the bobo ass Amazon. You know what though? You. I I got to admit he's kind of selling me on it, and I kind of want one now. Okay, hey man, I'm telling you. If you guys want to see guys, how bad do you want to <laughs> see Blue Boy in a onesie? I want to know because if if you guys make it good, make it good, and I will put up whatever amount of money it's going to take for Blue Boy to go to work. <laughs> I'll go to work in a onesie, and I will take a picture of it. Go to work in a onesie <laughs> and watch Sika videos at your desk. <laughs> I do that anyways, minus the, had, the one. You had your, you had your phone under I the had desk. my phone under my desk like a fucking pervert as I'm watching Sika's sports videos. I want to send this link to Blue Boy and ruin the next hour of his day. <laughs> yo, yo. Let me Let spell me it out, out for you. B-U-L-O-Y-I-N-G. Bullying others isn't me. B-U-L-O-Y-I-N-G. We should be bully free. We're going to do the bully comment of the week. Um, These come from uh, someone who I have 17 years uh, left of a 20-year restraining order. She recently lost her children. Uh, Her man is is in jail looking at prison. So what better thing to do than start obsessing about me again? She has made a LinkedIn dedicated to 
what is it taking me down and telling people that I'm a I'm a I'm a bad person. So um this one this is the first one. Uh this is one of my this one a college that she used to go to um in a state she no longer lives posted something about hiring some new some new professors. So here's what Crystal shared with their post. Can't wait to go back and finish because of Wesley. I let myself get traumatized by him, slandered and defamed. And I only had two to three semesters left before an associate's. She only had two to three semesters left on a four semester associate's. <laughs> on her associate's? Wow. <laughs> yeah, keep going. I worked so hard. Then before he bought alcohol and I relapsed. Bedtime, no work tomorrow. Going to be a nice $900 plus paycheck, I assume. Not a lot, but it does it. Okay, that's a good a good LinkedIn post. I think everyone can agree that's a solid a solid LinkedIn post. This is a LinkedIn yeah. profile. Yes, this is her LinkedIn. This is her what? LinkedIn page. Um, and then this and then this is the next one here. I can't wait to make my own YouTube video without my face. Definitely including his ugly mug <laughs> to define narcissism and things like love bombing and discarding. Please explain why you'd side with a man who would chase after me knowing what I was struggling with at that time. Especially when I said I didn't want to date anyone that didn't emotionally connect with me. Especially when I said I'm focused on school, not dating. But that's how people like that work. They are sneaky and deceitful and won't take accountability for their own part in destroying someone else. LOL. These people watched a video that was dramatized and exaggerated and dishonest. And then they can't take a hold on. What? Yeah, okay. no, you're right. And then they can't take accountability for how they are part of the problem. Guess that's why he has the audience he does. Because he and then have similar toxic traits. But call me a liar. Yep. And then and then lastly, I want just want to play a quick message to her um to her to her fr- these were these were sent to me this is from last week crystal explaining explaining how she never wanted anything to do with me i was the one chasing after her i was the one chasing after her look i don't want to have these conversations with you right now and i don't appreciate any of the questions sounding like you fucking are are God, I don't even know the word. It's like it's like you're just jabbing me and 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 you're oh well, <laughs> weren't you chasing him? No, I wasn't. No. What I did was try to understand why the fuck I was love bombed, sexually assaulted, and then ghosted. I'm so sorry you haven't been in terrible relationships to understand any of that. But I didn't beg him. I was simply trying to have a conversation and then he made videos about me to which I was trying to stop him and reach out to people and say, look, this is what happened. I wasn't trying to be his boyfriend. I was literally just victimized by this psychopath. I don't want to talk about this right now. I'm literally upset. I've got so much shit I've got to do today. And the fact that you aren't helping me, you're making this shit harder. I'm already going to go to the courthouse. If you want me to file. Yeah, she's very upset. Sounds okay. like she's pretty upset. Yeah, she's making some pretty good points, frankly. I, you, know, <laughs> it, it you look very good here, Wesley. <laughs> I just it, this isn't. Good, she's not going to make this video. We're not going to get Moni girls canceled, are we? I hope not. I mean, she's been talking about making oh, the video man. since since twenty twenty one. Fucking legacy, Wes. Don't take what, this from me. What are we going to do? Well, hold on. She has a she has a name already picked out for the video. It's called Hey for um. For ten Lockhart dollars, what was the name of the YouTube video that Crystal was making about me in 2021? It was a very, it was actually a pretty clever name. Do you remember it? That entire question was a bully comment. 
you know that I'm not going to remember the name of the title. You know that. You know that I forgot the name of that title 1.7 seconds after knowing what it was because I saw something or I heard something and it took its place in my brain. You know that. So the fact that you're asking me leads me to believe the only reason is because you have 10 Lockhart dollars to give. I've never even been able to see one, not a single one, but they all have them and now you do too. This is bullshit. I fucking hate this and I hate you. It's called So Deuced by Wes Moe. That's um, clever. It really is. If, if bullying is your style, if it's your game, you should know it's really lame. I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to get fucking in there. I've already done one dumbass thing in my life. I'm not going to do another. I'm sure that you've done more than one. Isn't what you did to Betty another stupid thing? Or do you lump it all together? It's too bad you don't know how to talk to me instead of fucking blame me for shit that you don't know anything about. I know plenty about it. What what else do I need to know except for the facts? What, that your family let you down? So that led you down this path of complete destruction where you destroy other people's lives? Yes. I'm not talking, I'm not talking about tonight. I've been, I've had yeah. enough fucking day. I know you can't talk about it. I'm not talking about tonight. I don't want to be, I don't want to talk about tonight. I do want to talk about tomorrow. I want to talk about all my shit tomorrow. I'm not talking about anything. I shit is going to come out on the fucking table. No, I'm not talking about things that have I happened shouldn't. to me. It helps to talk. No, not to you. I've been down the road. He's already been preparing for tomorrow. I've been down the road. Good Lord. What was that? He's already preparing for tomorrow's conversation. I mean, at least Lauren was self-aware enough at this time to know that this is still going to be an issue tomorrow. Like, we can, you know, we're moving off it right now, but trust me, this will be brought up again tomorrow. And yeah, I'm still going to be mad some awareness, it. I guess. Right? Like, yeah, he, he <laughs> knows that he's not going to drop this shit. And he also knows that sober Lauren's going to need to look over his notes and have a say. <laughs> <in his phone. laughs> I know what it feels like. Do you know why it doesn't help to talk to you? Because every time I tell you something, it either gets thrown in my face, it gets thrown in other people's faces, you talk about it with other people. What gets thrown in your face is that you don't talk to me. You no. talk to Emma. No, then Emma that's tells not what me. You throw in my face. That's yeah. what I'm throwing in your face. Why the fuck would you want to go back to that house? When did I say I was going back? Any house when? that he is in. When did I say I was going back? Hmm? I didn't. You told me before that you uh, that you wanted to go back there. I'm not going back. And by the way, if we get cut off, it, it's not my fault. It's I lose signal. Yeah, I know you do. I can't help that. That's nothing to do with me. I know you live in a shit town. It's not me. No signal. Huh? You live in a shit town with no signal. Yeah. Well, I get to cut some trees down. Yeah. I'm stressed right now, Casey. Yeah. What are you stressed about? Just everything. I fucking I'm so fucking stressed out. Lauren, are you crying? <laughs> you there? Yeah. Wait, I didn't hang up on you. Let me lose a signal. I'm in the bathroom right now. Wow, you're on an inside bathroom. Well, if, if we if we get cut off again, it's because I'm in the bathroom because it's not a very good signal in here. Then wait to call her. Okay. I like how he says that though, and then when it dis when it does disconnect, he explains it again. Yeah, phone disconnected. That's that's the entire explanation needed. Yeah, but he like pre-explains it for if it happens, and then does it again. Once oh, then, it does he calls her, then he calls her back from an area where he said he already has a bad bad signal. <laughs> yeah, why do you just wait till you're done in the bathroom? Just yeah, call her back when you have a better signal. I, I, that shit irritates me when someone calls me and their signal's bad and I have to keep saying what and they continue to try and have this con like you know, obviously this is not a good time for you call me when you have some fucking signal I'm not trying to do this shit what
Or, and then they get or irritated. someone calls you and they're driving with the windows down. I think you, you have like, me out when someone calls you. But yes, <laughs> go ahead. <laughs> what? They have their they have you said they have their windows down? If someone calls you while they're driving with the windows down and it's just well, I guess Lauren does that all the time. You just hear the sound of the wind blowing. Yeah. That's annoying too. Uh, my mom though is the best because <laughs> she'll send me a text and I'll reply to the text and then she'll call me to explain everything she just sent me in the text and that I replied to. <laughs> Lauren does what, that. What is that? That Fire. sound? No. You weren't no, saying I anything. heard someone talking. It's Blue Boy. No, I just fucking what you were here. Doesn't really sound like it. Here. Um, she was here. It doesn't sound like it. You've been screaming at me. Well, I'm just fucking frustrated. The fucking this fucking internet bullshit is just fucking unreal. It's rocking my fucking world. All I want is for you to be here with me and fucking be able to be able to get you to have what you want to have. I don't care about the fucking dreams that I have. But she, what I want to have is a comfortable life where I don't have to worry about someone screaming at me. <laughs> Women are looking for a man that, that doesn't care about their own But you dreams. do. That's the thing. <laughs> What's that? <laughs> it just he thought that was like flattering like i don't care about my own dreams like a woman's gonna want you to not have like ambition <laughs> yeah you should just be focused on them and, make, and, and that's it that's what lord like, he really does feel that way what a fucking moron he doesn't get it he doesn't get it he doesn't thing i mean that's the thing like a lot of people say you know somebody who's involved in domestic violence i didn't want to hit you Stop drinking is not a problem for me at all. Then why don't you stop doing it? Look what happens to you. You turn into such a mess. A mess? I didn't even, I even drink tonight. You really? The reason I'm a mess is because of that. Excuse me. Yeah. The reason I'm a mess is because of that message that, you, that I got from you. That's what fucked me up. You. So how about instead of getting fucked I'm, up, I'm you so ask about you. it like a normal civilized person. Yeah, but you, you stop and think about it. You always text me every morning. You, there hasn't been more that you haven't texted me. Okay, Today so you didn't. didn't text me. So what? You, you literally had to tell me to chill. When I said I'm upset, I'm worried. Because I, I thought something fucking happened that made it, that you get caught with your phone or something. So maybe you couldn't contact me. So I was worried. Okay, so you were I worried. I can't help that. Yeah, but you can ask, you can help how you react to that. Yeah, but I how don't you... know anything. It's hard when I don't know what's going on with you because you do some wild ass shit that you shouldn't be doing and you know you shouldn't be doing. True. And you still end up fucking doing that shit. Trifling ass shit. Well, that shit is critical for me and you to be together for you not to do. Okay, so... If I don't text you, or if I don't call you every single day, why does that, is that like this huge dramatic thing that you have to just completely freak out about? You know where I am, you know that I have restriction, that I can't just pick up my phone and do whatever I want. I have to be careful. Because I worry that something is fucking gonna happen. Okay, but you can wait some time. You have to wait. I was calm when I sent you that message. I, I told you I was worried. I told you I was going to go call Tony's and come more trees. So you went over Tony's. This is what happens out, every out single worried. time you go to Tony's. I see I'm, a trend. I wasn't at Tony's that long. It's okay if you need to cry, Lauren. I know that you want to because you're frustrated. You can just let it out. I would rather have you let it out that way than to scream and yell. Fine, I'm just fucking just want you here with me. Mm -hmm. Okay, but I'm not. So in the meantime, you have to be able to cope with this better. They're teaching us how to be comfortable with emotions here. I'm not the most emotional person. I don't know if you've noticed that, but I'm not. 
and they're kind of teaching me some stuff and I can see it with you that you're a really emotional person. Yeah. Yeah, it's a, I didn't hear you. Sorry. I say, yeah, I say I am. Yeah. So if we're comfortable with our emotions, we can be honest with ourselves about our problems. And we can yeah, allow ourselves not, to let them out. Let's not spill our guts tonight. Well, no, I, I'm not saying spill your whole life story. I'm just saying about what you're feeling. You know, when they're when you're feeling emotionally sad and upset, it's okay to cry yeah. and, and to let it out that way instead of screaming and attacking me. Yeah, um, when I do that, it's, it's not always that I'm attacking you. I'm just frustrated with people that are fucking so goddamn stupid. It's unreal. Okay, but you're screaming at me, though. That's the thing. So it's coming at me. No, I'm not. I'm, I don't. I don't mean to scream at you. Right, but you are. Just, Which is just even worse if you are screaming like that and then you say you didn't mean to do it. That means you have no control over your emotions and your rage. Yeah, it's like it's like everything that is so, like all the signs of an abusive person. Yes. Is what is Lawrence is Lauren demonstrating right now. Right, even from the the isolation, your family, you know, he wants you to believe your family doesn't care, but he always tries to make them feel like yeah. everyone else is using you. I'm the only one who actually cares about you. Um, they should actually play these calls in classes. I don't. You think they should or they do? They should. Oh, they absolutely should play these calls in classes. But you know, he when he was the two the two times we know of when he was grooming actual teenagers. They were both people who were dealing with like a lot of emotional turmoil at home and at school and shit. So, you know, he, he really took advantage of that. And so he's going to look for those those same patterns that he can exploit, even if it's an adult. How many times do you think he told that girl whose father was an alcoholic what a piece of shit he thought he was for being an alcoholic? Meanwhile, he's calling her up drunk and crying himself. That's what I'm saying. Thank you, Tiffany. I'm just fucking voicing my frustrations, and you're the one hearing it. It sucks. It's a really shitty position for me to be in. Have I ever taken my frustration with my dad out on you? Ever? Well, you should. No, I shouldn't. Why? Because you then get, I would be acting you just like you. every fucking reason to. No, I'm not going to take it out on you. What does that have to do with you? I would be acting just like you. That shows it, great it emotional. It has great emotional um, immaturity. What happened when I was younger has nothing to do with you. So I'm not going to but has, yell at you but at the about same, that. At the same, at the same time, it has a lot to do with me. It doesn't. It has nothing. No. Nothing. How? You want it to I have something to do with, with you? Yeah, you hurt, you. hurt me. Because they that pedal. That's between oh. him and I. Oh, oh. right. They're both pedophiles. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, that really, he really is trying so hard to make that connection, isn't he? There's a lot to do with me. I'm a pedophile. Like, that's the only connection. <laughs> and, and she's saying, no, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. He's like, no, stop. Think about it now. <laughs> it's really hard. You're an outside party. You can be upset about that. Well, upset is not even the word. Okay, whatever the word is. You can do that, but you can't bring that to me. And that's not fair for you to discuss it with him if that's what you're doing. Just because you know something doesn't mean that you can just go throw it out there. I didn't want him fucking... I want him to know how fucking little he is. That's not your place. You can tell him how little he is in relation no, to you. Can't. But you but, can't tell him that that's what that's why he's scared of me because you can't tell him. And now that you have me, he knows he's got an issue. How do you know what I've told him and what I haven't? What have you told him? It's none of your business. That's between him is and that, I. That's what I'm saying. That's what you're not understanding. It is my business. It's my business because before you were you were trying to protect him before. You get mad at me for making him cry when he wasn't even really crying. He was putting on a goddamn show. He wasn't, you know it. Okay, Lauren. 
He was trying to mock me is what he was doing. Oh. Because he mentioned some shit that fucking hit the heart, hit me in the heart and fucking made me start crying. And he started fucking pretending like he was crying. Okay. Then take that up with him. Yeah, but you... Well, Joey, Joey made Lauren cry, and then Joey pretended he was crying to mock Lauren. <laughs> Do you know yeah, what that Paul right? It's it's one of the Paul calls. Well, thank you. Because I assume, I mean, there are that many of them. Yeah, I don't know. I yeah. if, if Paul was in it, that it was a Paul. But I don't know if I've heard that one before. I am. I don't know if all the Paul stuff was was released because of like the you know the, the Ember fallout. Mm. Um, I don't know if that if it was ever all released because there do there's a call the the Codstock 2020 website that I built for Lorne when he thought that he was going to have that big festival in this fucking in his. Uh, yard in in 2020 for his 50th mm, right birthday. like a fucking idiot yeah Dude, that was supposed to be shown to lorne and he was going to think that people were buying tickets and t-shirts were being sold and clobber was making all this money but <laughs> ember got upset and never showed it never shared it with him so but there was a call where they talk about it but it was then it was never released just streamed yeah. once so yeah, I don't think all, all that all that all lost that content. Thing. But I'd love to hear that. I, I don't know if I've heard the one. If anyone knows, like let us let us know. You got mad at me for making him cry because you saw him cry. When you didn't see him cry, you saw him mocking me. Is what he was doing. Oh no. Okay. He's a piece of shit. Okay, done. So Why do you hate Emma that? so much? Oh, oh, well, I know you don't hate her. I know you love her. Why do you? Tessa, why don't why do you not want to have anything to do with me? She doesn't do anything to me and you except for help us. Yeah, I know. So so why you why be mean to her? Well, you guys disgust me all the time. Well, and I don't like that. You two disgust me more than what I discuss with you with her. How do you know? How are you? Because you said me earlier. How are you measuring that though? You told me earlier. Yeah, I talked to her. You two have been in person, and you two have been in person and ridden together in the same vehicle. Yeah. Uh, you tell me you didn't. You tell me I wasn't the main topic of this discussion. <laughs> uh, no, we talk about other stuff too. He's always the center of the universe. Oh, yeah. wow. Fucking. Whatever we want. Barbecue bacon. Bacon up with cheeseburgers with barbecue sauce on them. No. What? It's Tell her how amazing her he's naming is. things he can't afford. <laughs> <laughs> like, he really does. He really does believe you guys were in the car together. You're gonna tell me I wasn't the main top, not even you're gonna tell me I didn't come up, but I wasn't the main topic of conversation. That's great that he really does believe that they're just people are just sitting around. Well, I was gonna say people are just sitting around talking about Lauren. And <laughs> uh, well, right, <laughs> yeah. meanwhile, here we are. Four he guys thinks they exist the to talk about him. All, all talking about Lauren together. <laughs> and Swalkett has an actual bowl of sugar in front of him. You know he does. Something. What do you have in cellophane today, Swalkett? Actually, I didn't have time to grab anything, so thanks a lot. But you had time to watch a man with a dead squirrel. Well, okay, come on now. When you see this I happening, have, uh... it, and it was, no, here's the thing. It's a lady. It's not a man, so that's even Ooh. weirder. Well, that's pretty wild. Saying? I was assuming. Why Go is it ahead, weirder man. a woman picks up a dead squirrel versus a man pick up a dead squirrel? Because he's talking because, because it was a woman picking up a dead squirrel by the tail <laughs> and she walked to uh, the other neighbor's house who is an elderly couple. We talking like at least 80 something. Mm. So what the hell are they going to do with this dead squirrel? Are you the same person who stole kettle corn from an old church man? Well, I didn't steal it. He just Did said, you pay for it? You know, no. Did he ask for he, a donation? He, he gave it to me and said yeah. they are accepting donations. <laughs> and you said, <laughs> oh, am I, brother? I said, so <laughs> <laughs> and I said, I don't even got it. And I walked away. <laughs> you think I got pockets in this wood? You said, I don't even got it. <laughs> I don't got it. In there. <laughs> hey, sir, we accept donations. I don't even got it. Don't even got it. <laughs> that's, that's, that's honestly perfect. <laughs> <laughs> then walked away. You got to remember that TLI. Hey, right, we got it. Yeah, I'm using that later at the 7 Eleven. Tastes like. Have you tried them? What? Her pussy? Yeah. Have you tried them? They're awesome, aren't they? What? Tastes like frijoles. 
<laughs> Kevin. You're not even listening to what I'm saying. It's kind of funny. He's still talking I'm about bacon her. double cheeseburgers. I'm, I'm going to be very honest with you right now. Yeah. All I'm listening is to your voice. Oh, that's romantic. Are you hard right now? Well, I'm not really listening to the words that you're saying. But you should. It's important. What does that mean? You mean calming me down? He's listening to tone like a dog. You know how the dogs like they so understand it's just like, commands. It's just like womp, 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 like that. Yeah, he's he's listening to tone, and her tone right now is is sweeter than it was, and that's all he's paying attention to. And he's dreaming oh. though about getting his fat fucking mouth around those bacon barbecue cheeseburgers from Burger King. And you're gonna laugh. You're gonna laugh. You're gonna say, "Isn't that unhealthy?" But here, here's the thing, Blue Boy. They cook. They're flame broiled. So all the grease, all, all of grease. The grease mm, just runs right away. Off. It's basically it's basically a health snack. Is um is Burger King the one that there's things like fresh never frozen? No, that's Wendy's. Oh, Isn't never it? mind. Yeah, no, oh. no. See, Burger King. I worked at Burger King in high school. They're all frozen, and you put them in the broiler, frozen, and they come out the other side cooked. So, uh, but so enough. you tell us, does the grease sl- slide right off? Well, I mean, it's on a it's it's they're pressing these like gr- this grill thing that runs through. So some of the, yeah, some of the grease comes off, um, but it doesn't make it healthy. Like Lauren, like Lauren wants to tell himself. Well, and then he 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 gets it, but then he gets it with barbecue sauce and and cheese. Which and I bacon. mean, barbecue sauce is basically sugar, isn't it? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Well, and 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 then you know you add everything add everything else to, it. but but there's no seasoning on the patty, which is the way he likes it. Just there isn't plain, really just, no you do you just, it's hmm. it's a plain ass patty you just put it on one side and it pops out the other side you put that shit on the on the bun and whatever condiments go on that burger and that's it no there's no they don't come, they don't come pre-made like they're not like they're not like pre-cooked frozen no they're just pressed these like they look like frozen burgers that you would buy in the grocery store if you were buying a pack of 20 frozen burgers all stacked, those shitty, shitty frozen. Oh, burgers. and they have like the paper in between them. Yeah, yes, yes. Okay, that's enough, I've like. seen those. Yeah, you've seen them. You've never had one though. I never bought those. I've yeah. seen those. It's very interesting. I never knew that. You know what's locked out? You like eating food. Um, have you had those cotton candy grapes? Those are good. Yes. Mm. Ooh, I'm eating those right now. You got to get those, and then you can no, stop eating honey buns. No, 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 no. Those are gross. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Why would you eat a grape that's been artificially manufactured to taste like candy? You are eating a honey bun. Yeah, that's true. I don't think there's yeah, actual honey in the ingredients. I mean, but that's like that's different, man. Don't come on now. Play, play the call, Wes. Play the call. <laughs> that's a corrupting yeah, nature. Of bed, fucking grapes are an abomination. I'm extremely tired. You hard right now, though. My but honey bun is natural. Just a cross between two other grapes <laughs> that exist. Yeah. So, so but what I want to know is is what's your cock status? Because that's what Tiffany does. Let's look. Let's back to your cock status. <laughs> yeah. I'm not really listening to the words that you're saying. Well, you should. Wait. It's important. Do you need to calm me down? And I just lay down in bed because I'm extremely tired. You hard right now, though. What's your cock status? Uh huh. Uh huh. Not in the status. Go get a condom. Not in the status. Go get a condom. No. Yeah. No. Stop. No. We're gonna stop going for We're gonna stop going for the sex. Did you like? Did you like your stuff I got for you? I didn't like the hat. You didn't like the hat. No. Chevy. Send it back to me then, because that's that's my favorite. Yeah. Oh, I actually gave it to another girl because she liked it. Sorry. No, I don't. I don't want to give it to another girl. I already did. Well, you, you better get the damn thing back. So uh, uh, you didn't have the right to give that away. You gave it to me. I can do whatever I want with it. I'll be very insulted if you fucking give that away because I wrote that right on the right on the note. That's my favorite hat. There's Oops. no reason to give that away. Oops. Okay, sorry. <laughs> you bet. You send it back to me if you don't like the hat. You better wear it. So what if I 
What if I start moaning for you? Would you? Would that get you going? Happy birthday, Tiffany. And maybe this. Give um, me go around. Happy birthday, Tiffany. Well, how about if you? Fall asleep on you. How about if you I'm get me off? Shit. I want you to tell me all the dirty, dirty, nasty things you'll do to me. Your wow. Come on. She's, really, she's really begging Come for on, it in this it. one. This is pretty she, embarrassing, she, Tiffany. Happy birthday. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and also, guys, what's your cock status? Do it for me. No. Do you want to? No, I am ready to fall asleep. Oh. But I can't Come listen on. to you. No, just listen. Do it for Johnny. Do it for Johnny. Johnny. Isn't that a Grease 2 reference? That's an outsider's reference. Is it an outsider's reference? Mm-hmm. They like oh, in the movie. Like, do it for Johnny. I think it's do it for your country or some no, shit. No, it's do it for Johnny. I was talking about... It's do it for Johnny. <laughs> you know that That's great movie. The Outsiders. No, no one knows either. <laughs> I can I can listen to you, to you. I'm being serious. I can listen to you right now. I can listen to you masturbate your people. That's all I can do. I'm, I'm so fucking tired. It's unreal. So well. I can, I can listen to you. I am so slippery right now, Whoa. so I'm going to have to go take care of myself, Whoa. okay? Because I'm not going to have you fall asleep on me. Don't be calling anyone else either. Okay, bye. <laughs> Don't be calling anyone else. <laughs> oh my God. He has to throw them right as he's falling asleep. He's always in jealous, paranoid mode. Uh, before we move on to the, to the next call, in, in 2021, I wanted to get Tiffany... Um, the best birthday present that I could get her. And I found the worst rapper on Fiverr. And uh, this dude, $50. It took him $50 in 10 days to make the video, the, the song that you're about to hear. And um, and it took him the full, fu- he was actually late on the delivery. And no, you get money back on that? No, no, but I had to fill out, well, it's worth it. When you hear the rap, it's worth it. But I had to fill out two pages of information for what i wanted him to use in the rap and like you know she loves bananas like i had all these things and um she goes like she played tiffany lockhart and debbie on these calls at, at like two pages and uh and this is what this is what now i added the 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 b-roll because it was just him in a green screen but here we go Yo, 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 Deb, it's your birthday. We're gonna party like it's your birthday. We're gonna have fun like it's your birthday. We're gonna enjoy it like it's your birthday. We are happy that you exist. All the negative thoughts they feel dismissed. We are happy that you are alive here and now. We see you thrive. It's your birthday. It's your birthday time. Positive thoughts dominate. With the positive thoughts we create. Positive thoughts we create. Blow out the candles and your wishes come. It's your birthday. It's time for fun. We here and now. We. What is that? It is your birthday period. It's a statement of fact. Not even an exclamation. So where it cut off there? That was the end of the video. It was a forty-eight. That took him ten days. <laughs> yes, forty-eight. First of all, the first third of that song is a song that already exists. You didn't even change the lyrics. No, dude. That the best part was the demo on the the Fiverr gig was that exact song. All he did was, cha- but he didn't even use the names I told him. I guess he just assumed. Well, Tiffany, Debbie. Okay, well, her real name must be. So he like he just he just made shit up. He didn't do anything I asked him to do. It's the best birthday I, for Tiffany. It's amazing. I couldn't have asked for a better a better. I mean, it's definitely what Tiffany deserves. Yes, I mean the forty eight, and it just ends. It just cut off right there. Like, like, he just did I not. Can't believe it took him ten days and he was late to get it to you <laughs> because he didn't change anything and I, from and I the gotta... original song. It was like two or three days before her birthday, and I couldn't fucking wait. I had to give it to her immediately because it was just so good. So good. Mm-mm-mm. All right. Uh, now we're moving on to, to call number two. And after this one, we're going to we're gonna wrap up that um, screenplay that Sloth Cat has been reading. We're on, oh, we're on page four now? Something. Wait, are we on page? Th- yeah, yeah, we're on page four now. Wow. 
right. there might be more pages. I'll have to I'll have to go digging, but oh my god, I think there's a few more. Wait, so, you have more? Well, because he sent four at once, and then he he didn't write for a while, and then I'm pretty sure he starts writing again, and then it just abruptly ends. He doesn't finish it. Well, that's a surprise. That's a real, so that's a real surprise. We're gonna need the community to help us finish the story. Yeah, I think that's a great idea. Every I'm, week, we'll just assign a new person to write a page of it. We're gonna assign them. Like, we're not, we're not gonna ask people to for volunteers. <laughs> no, we're I'm gonna tell them to do it. <laughs> All right, honest, like, honest. Uh, it is your week to write. <laughs> we expect it. Have it in by Monday. All right. So she's she's the first one. She has no choice in the matter. It, well, it needs to be in by Monday so that we can review it and then send it back for any edits that need to be done prior to recording. She'll get it done. She'll get it done. Oh, I she has nothing to do this weekend. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> put down enough in my life. I don't like being put down. Well, there's some things comment? that I can put down about you that are true. What's that? Didn't you have a bully comment for Sloth? Yeah, but, yeah, but we're not. We're gonna do so after this one. Sloth's gonna do um the screenplay. Then after that, then after that next call, we're gonna do the bully comment. I, I got it. I got it. I'm just making sure all that, my that talking that at the end, at like once. the main event. Yeah. No. No. Yeah. You're okay, the Roman the Reigns of the stream. Yeah, yeah, I'm the Roman Reigns. No, wait a minute. No, <laughs> I won't agree to that. Yeah. Who do you want to be? The suffering succotash. I don't agree with that. Oh, that's true. He did say uh, that suffering succotash, son. Is he what really he said, said one that? time. Yep. I'm more like <laughs> the Rock, the final boss. Okay. You don't curse as much, though. <laughs> I curse I a lot. Like, I feel like I'm not like pointing things out about yourself. What was that? Well, you know no, what? I you curse are the a lot, rock. so I think I'm the rock. Because you already got the name, you know. Yeah, Blue yeah. Boy, yeah that's Dwayne, true. I'm Blue uh, Dwayne the Rock Johnson yeah. Boy. <laughs> that's a great, that is a great wrestling name when we start our own. I came up with it myself. Yeah, when you yeah. guys start um, Blue Universal Wrestling Blue Company. With, with Jordan and uh, Jesse as our as our main, our big, yep. big get right now. Uh, you, know what I re- you know what? Sorry to interrupt you. Slothcat, go ahead. I'm sorry. No, go ahead. Um, I was just going to say, I was I was perusing Netflix. Did not realize that the Monegro's logo is a ripoff of Martin. You didn't know that? I didn't know that. You, you guys watch- can't do anything original. <laughs> what do you mean uh, by you guys? <laughs> you, oh, you, you guys started it. So <laughs> Slothcat sent me the logo because it was a funny play on Martin. I had no idea. And a lot of people recognized that immediately. When did Martin come out? When when was that? 93? Yeah, see, how would I know that? That's true. Oh my goodness. You see what these grapes have done to his mind? <laughs> You I just ate a bowl more full health. of them. I ate a bowl full of grapes. That's all I had for dinner, like Lauren. <laughs> <laughs> I was eating fruit. <laughs> Lauren would eat an Your entire dad? watermelon for dinner, and that would be it. And I don't know if that—that's like a sign of poverty, or if it's like the fanciest thing I've ever heard. A oh, watermelon. <laughs> <laughs> Because it almost sounds flat. But dude, it's like 90% water. How is that <laughs> dinner? How is that Lauren, dinner? I don't... Lauren, it has no water, so he soaks it up like a sponge, and it fills him up. It's like, you know, like... Yeah, like a dry sponge. He, just, he just... Cigarettes and coffee. He's just dehydrated as fuck. And then you're just eating a whole watermelon for dinner. Like, it's just yeah. a normal thing to do. And his cells just absorb it. It sustains him till the next day. Ridiculous. You had 12 inch chalk and mine is not 12 inch. Whoa. Your fat ass, your big belly, your bald ass head. Well, I'm not fat, so I know I don't need to worry about that. No, you are. You're definitely fat. I don't see those abs. I Go see one bald, ab. yep. Huh? I see one ab. You're supposed to have multiple abs. I should be able to see your muscles, but I can't. <laughs> I have never had six abs. They're ever. under there, no, like, they're covered with your it, fat. No, let me, let yeah. me, you know, when, I was, when I was 19 and, and 
I, I grew up working in the woods. Well, that was 40 years ago. Asshole. Yeah, well, <laughs> I worked has my abs fucking ass under off. There. Everyone has muscle structure. Yeah. Everybody you just that can't does see not it eat. Because of your big, flappy belly. Everybody that does not eat. Boom. Take that. I use up energy when I fucking work. And I get not fucking enough. hungry. I'm going to fucking eat. Yeah. Not an enough. I am going to fucking eat. <laughs> I am not going to. If I'm You're fucking hungry, fat. I'm going to eat. I don't give a fuck. I'm you obviously should. not that fat. What does that mean? You are, though. I'm telling you. Oh, look at that picture. You would That's never look it out here no. in show business. That's probably why they never signed I'm, you in Nashville. I am not trying to make it in show business. Not anymore. This is what you want to be a singer. Yeah. You can do karaoke for the rest of your life. It's fucking rancid. I want to be a singer. It has nothing to do with the like he's what just my eating stomach is. Mold. It has to I do with this is the, the cheeseburger from Burger King, honestly. Right. <laughs> it really does look like a chewed up a chewed up burger. Saved a BK broiler from the nineties and just eating but, it now. <laughs> but then why would you send this picture? No one's really like, hey Lorne, open your mouth, let me see the food in it and send me a picture. Cause I would I'm hoping that they they asked him for this and he obliged. And not that he just thought like, you know what my baby wants to see? This. The it wouldn't surprise me if you thought this was cute. Yeah. Like, like the cavities in the back of my mouth, the, the fucking wobble tooth here. That tooth mouth, is yeah. insane. A, a <laughs> mouth. It, looks, it looks like one of those little beaver teeth. Like it's com- it's complete. It looks flat and sharp. Like he could yeah, scrape like a can wood. opener. Like, yeah, he, he can scrape wood with this thing. Just plane that shit down real nice and smooth. Like that's this it, is a horrible picture. It's like the back end of a hammer. Yes, yeah, the, where you pull it, the nail It's out. about that size, yeah. <laughs> With what you look like, people aren't going to want some disgusting, weird-looking guy. Mm. Nobody wants I'm to a good-looking guy, and I already know that. Whoa. It doesn't matter if I <laughs> have my belly sticks out a little bit, which my belly doesn't even stick out. <laughs> what, you want to give people so, more things to laugh about? Wow. Where does he get this confidence? People are going to find their own shit. Though. I don't know. I genuinely don't know because he knows deep down he's never had a one night stand. I am willing to bet he's never even kissed a woman before on the mouth. And he thinks he's attractive. I don't know. Normally when you have someone who's delusional like this, maybe at home, like their mom's always telling him, oh, you're, you're a perfect. I, if, I can't believe. But his mom does not like him. She does not gas him up like that. If he's, I really he's 50. Know. If he was yeah. a seven-year-old, then yeah. I, I really don't know where, where he gets this confidence and, and where he gets this belief that he is just this handsome, good-looking. I don't know. Maybe back in the day. Maybe back in the day, like, you know, women were, were telling him that he was a good-looking dude. Maybe in the Air Force. I don't, and, I don't believe uh, it for I, a second. I think he sat by himself for so long. And told that to himself every day, because he had no friends. Yeah. Yo, I remember this dude who walked around Kiesler in a black trench coat with a crown royal pouch tied to his belt, like it was a little <laughs> magic pouch. And he uh-huh. would, go, yo, and he would go around like, and it was summer. It was it was August in Biloxi, Mississippi, and this dude's mobbing around in a trench coat and like some some black strappy BDSM pants. And that dude was smashing ass. So, really? Yeah. Yeah. It was he was wearing, wait, he was wearing those big old chain pants? He, like, all, like, like, all the strappies on him. Like, not the chain pants, but it was like strappies all on him. Like, there were these these BDSM pants that were like kind of, he got them in hot tub. I don't and a oh, black okay. I know. Coat. I think I know the pants you're talking about. Yeah. Yeah. And, and then a crown royal pouch that was tied to his belt. Like, it, like you know, he would have some, probably Magic the Gathering cards in there. I don't fucking I was going to say, did he have like dice in there? But the dude was smashing ass. That, I mean, that sounds about right. That doesn't sound weird to me at all. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was just flopped at. <laughs> you was a Keesler too? Um, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Wait, where is this Keesler? What? Biloxi, Mississippi. It was a base. It's an Air Force base. But... Oh, God. Yeah. Mississippi, I'm sorry. Oh, no, 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 thank you. Thank you. But, yeah, that was... People thank me for my service. Don't thank me for my service. Thank me for living in Biloxi, Mississippi for six I years. mean, that's basically like being in Iraq. <laughs> that was so fucking horrible. <laughs> Listen, you're not going to make it. I'm telling you that. That's 
cheer me on. Good way to show the love. You're like 50 Good years old. Again. You're a karaoke singer. That's not a country singer where somebody's going to be like, oh, I want to, I want to <laughs> sign you. It's never happened. It didn't you know, happen back when you were in Nashville. Didn't even happen. You don't think you don't think that my voice is good enough to make it into country music? No, no, I don't. I'm so wow. I love this call. Well, it's not. What's up, Luke? I was just saying how I love this call. Because how delusional he is. <sighs> no, because Tiffany just gives him the business. This is when I fell in love with her. Oh, <laughs> interesting. Happy birthday. <laughs> Actually, no, the cocksuckers call is the best one. Oh, whoa. <laughs> whoa. You know well, what I'm talking go, about. Go, suck your, go fuck your co fucking cocksuckers. Or that's, whatever. A, that's the greatest Lauren call of all time. That is a great call. I don't know. I don't know if it's the greatest call. It's my personal favorite call. Is that your, is, like, and it never changes? You don't have times where you'll have a different call that's your favorite call? Well, there's other calls I'll, I like listening to, but I feel like if. If I were to show anyone a single Lauren call, it'd be that call. Yeah, I don't know. I don't. I I don't know if I have like a one favorite call. Do you, T.L.? But if do you have a call that you, if you were forced to to show someone this weird hobby, and and have a call to play them, do you have a call like that? Well, I mean, the only one I can think of off the top of my head would be, um, "How did the doctor see you naked?" Yeah, it'd be between those two for me. The, the it covers or the doctor yeah. because it covers so much um, rage and jealous everything in that call. Yeah, yeah. The, the other ones feel like they might need too much context too, or like some of the other ones that are good. Yeah, yeah, you, like, yeah you those are just, good self-contained things. Yeah, you can't just play Sheffrey and like right. Let yeah. that play, and people would get so lost and confused. And why is he fucking angry? Because it's so ridiculous. And the naked dog, that was the first call that I had heard. Um, and I didn't really know, I didn't know everything going on, but it's easy enough to follow and kind of get an understanding. I, at first I thought it was like a play. Like, why, what is going, what is going on here? What? But I just, I just think I like the cocksuckers, go fuck your cocksuckers call the best because it's like, I can't, that's like a real scenario that there was no like bullshitting him or anything or lying. It was just like, I don't want to be with you. And he just keeps begging for a chance. It's the most pathetic yeah. thing I've ever heard in my life. Yeah. Give me that a chance. The first call I ever heard. Was it? But did you know who Lauren yeah. was? Or I. It was um. Oh, since we got since we got him here, uh, it was T L I's fault because he tricked me into <laughs> watching this video because I thought it was an Elden Ring video. What? What are you talking <laughs> about? <laughs> What are you he fucking was talking about? Elden Ring. Oh yeah, yeah. He was playing his Ramona call. Mm -hmm. I just clicked on it because I saw Elden Ring in the thumbnail. A guy playing. Oh Elden Ring. sure, yeah, right. <laughs> oh, you bamboo. Then I'm listening to this. Okay, one. yeah, yeah. It went on for a few minutes before I even asked myself, "What the fuck is he listening to?" <laughs> wow, so you were just impressed by how how I beat Radon. So you were looking for Let's Plays of Elden Ring and stumbled upon TLI's channel somehow. I wasn't looking for Let's Plays. I was just looking, you know, how they start recommending yeah. whatever video game. I was so just looking for people playing Elden that. Ring? I yeah. just, I'm, I'm still lost how his channel, that's kind of crazy. I'm guessing so because you were, they... Sorry, I keep interrupting you. I'm guessing because you two may have... You know, they usually put in like the description, whatever game, whoever's playing mm -hmm. on the screen. Yeah, so they like probably picks it up. That. Yeah. Oh, okay. So you weren't even looking for Lauren stuff at all no. or like TCAP anything. Well, at the time I was watching a bunch of TCAP stuff. Okay. So I'm guessing like it this plus Elden Ring. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> They're like, we got the perfect up. channel for you. Know you. I got something you're going to like. Hold on. His name is, how did you say it? T L I? Like it was. Yes. Hey, you said it like a robot. It was really weird. <laughs> Don't talk like that again. I like the way T Cap. Be honest with you. There's been very, very, very few people that have Like the Lorne Identity. <laughs> <laughs> Who is that? The Lorne Identity. T L I? T L I? <laughs> is that the Lorne Identity? Well, they're not being honest. Really, this was before yeah. the sting. Yeah, 
they all lied. You know, a lot of times it's kind of like, you know, when a little kid draws a picture and you're like, oh, that's so beautiful. And you have no idea even what it is, but you just want them to feel good about themselves. You're not going to tell them that they draw like shit. They can't stay in the fucking lines. You're just going to go along with it. You'd be like, okay, I'm going to make somebody feel good. But there needs to be people and everyone. He just told Lauren he sings outside of the lines. Basically. Oh, that was just the perfect analogy. Like you're, he, like, I'm sure he's not even listening. He's, he's just listening to tone. And right now her tone is not yelling and angry. So he's liking what he's hearing life to bring them back down to you know to earth a little bit just be like you know what i'm really not going to be a country singer i'm not going to be signed to a major label i'm not going to go on tour that's why those things happen like one in a million you get some extra special people who have extra special talent and it just happens to work out how did he get the, and then everyone else to just kind of goes them. about their lives they actually sell these curve benders that that you can do that. I'm not even joking. He got that or, at a Circle K. There's they, that's a Circle just, K hat. Then you just put your fist in there. And then you just keep bending it, bending it down. Like the bent that do you, Tila? Like, you remember when the I don't know maybe where you lived it wasn't, but do you remember when the like bent brim was the was the thing? You couldn't have your 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 brim couldn't be flat. See, when I grew up, it was a flat brim. I don't brim. remember that. Yeah. So yeah, do it transition to the flat brim. Mm. Like, at a, you had your shit had to be curved, or it was clearly a new hat. See, we're going back cool. to this look now. I think the flat the flat brim has been out for a while. The flat, but, but the flat, but Lori way over curved. Yeah, that is. But it's he's country boy, and that's like the the country boy curve is different than yeah, like, with like a the, fish hook in it. Well, I don't know. If, I don't know if they're a fish hook. What are you talking about? <laughs> You put a fish hook in the brim of your hat. Do you really? Is that what country boys do? That's what I've seen them do. Where have you seen fish suddenly? Like Arkansas or something? When were you were in Arkansas around guys? I've been with... to Arkansas twice. And and you, both times you saw guys with fish. fish I didn't leave my hotel room either time. So, okay. <laughs> 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 I was just like, I don't want to be here. <laughs> You know how many people when their kids wait, do you know how many people when their kids say, I'm gonna be a ballerina, I'm gonna be a football star? And it just it doesn't happen because they're just not cut out for it. So whenever I walk into a karaoke a karaoke bar and I start singing and everybody just stops and listens. What the fuck are you supposed to do in a karaoke well, bar? Yeah, you're at a karaoke bar. That's what people are there to do. It doesn't no, it doesn't mean anything. You don't know what they're thinking wow. in your head when they're stopping and staring at you. They could be like, okay, this guy comes in here and sings the same songs. Here he is again, <laughs> taking his 20th turn. Is so, it really the way you're going to stand beside me? I'm not going to be unrealistic. Okay, I'm not going to be unrealistic. I'm telling you to like get back to earth. Go get yourself a job. Concentrate on that. And don't have this like hokey ass dream. That's never going to happen. You're almost dead. <laughs> what do you have? Like 20, 30 years left? Come on, man. Are you seriously fucking saying this shit to me? What the fuck is wrong with you? I'm trying to get you to be real. You're you almost dead. You can have dead. singing as a hobby. Right. Listen, you can have singing as a hobby. That's perfectly fine. Wow. But to have this as like you're going to break out and be signed and have a tour and, you know, be the next great country music star, it's just not going to happen. This is really how you're going to stand beside me by fucking putting me down. I'm telling you the truth. You can't be a country singer and smoke three fucking packs a day. You don't even know no, what it's what? like to be a professional singer. You don't even know. Mm -hmm. Get your fucking ass here and, and what? Tell California. All to your face. And where, where there's nothing on California either. There's nothing on California that you can't do here. Everything on California around, you can do when here. Did this turn you have the internet. Now. When did this turn around? Everything you can do there, you can do here. They have the internet now. Yeah, but you, he, she can't have it at your place. But, well, but he's just saying, well, she doesn't have to move to his place. Just move close enough that Lauren can walk to your house. Uninvited. 
He's willing to negotiate with you. He I don't wants- think he is. I don't think he's willing to negotiate at all. Well, I'm saying, like, you don't have to move in immediately. You can live somewhere close enough for him to just show up there all the time and know that you're not taking other cock. He'll tell you what you want to hear to get you there, but once you get there, everything will be different. Yeah, do you think that happened with um, the woman who was living with them that had to move out, like, the the sisters had to come and basically sneak her out? I don't even know if that's a true story. I think it's a true story, because it doesn't doesn't make him look good in any way, and it doesn't... (laughs) Like he, <laughs> True, he, he benefits <laughs> he doesn't benefit at all from that story no yeah so i believe that i believe that story Wait, is true. who was that it was um he, i don't remember her name but he said she was that was his relationship where he lived with someone he said she was there two weeks and they dated he said they were there she was there for two weeks and the sisters had to move her out and they dated for three weeks or something or so do you some, think he smashed that girl no i think some girl needed just like um the the alleged prostitute i think someone needed a place to stay and lauren told her she could stay with him to get back on her feet and he was going to be a perfect gentleman and yada 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 and she moves in and lauren starts making advancements really awkward creepy cringy advancements but she's living with him which means close quarters eventually she's gonna this is the this is they're gonna tell their grandkids a story one day and she probably got really creeped out and then she had her sisters come and move her out and he's like oh well they're all in charge if her sisters had to come over to move it out, that, I mean, that says a lot about the kind of person yes. Lauren. I mean, we obviously we knew he's a fucking weirdo, but he might actually be very scary in in person if you if you are a woman who. Why I'm saying I believe the story because telling it if you tell any woman that story, it makes you look of like a dangerous man. It doesn't. Was make it like? Look- sorry. Was it like? Um, she came like while he was at work. They came over That's and like what he moved. Says. It? Yeah, like, like basically, a horror movie. like how Katie Holmes Let's less Tom Cruise. He, he, Lauren, Lauren came home. He probably had like some burr and some something that he wanted to make. He was going to put a pizza in the oven, and they were going to watch a movie or something. And she was gone. We're going to watch season three of Three's Company. <laughs> Got the DVD, but I only have the first half of the season. I don't have the other DVDs. They only, they're, they're, girl, just give me one episode. By the end of it, we're going to be banging. We're going to eat this Hawaiian pizza I picked up from Walmart. Mm-hmm. I'm going to preheat the oven. We're going to eat this. We're going to watch our, our show. You're going to have sex with me, and we're going to go to bed. Then we're going to go to bed. You know why they call it great value? Girl, because it's a great fucking value. It has a great let me, value. Let me heat up this oven. and she, But she was gone, so there was no... He ate the Hawaiian pizza, but he masturbated that night instead of smashing that sweet, sweet ass. Turn around to me working. I'm talking about you singing. Yeah, well, you're working on this. Found footage we're watching. You're talking about me coming there, and I'm talking to you about your singing and how it's a great movie. You love it. (laughs) (laughs) It's like those VHS movies. Yeah, I want you to be real. Where something goes horribly wrong. It really, it really is. It's. I think this is a couch that has all the chews in it, so that's why it's (laughs) with this filthy tarp. Um, but he, oh. Lauren just said, if you want me to quit smoking, come out to Maine, make me quit. He says that throughout the whole series to everyone. Um, whose house this isn't his, he didn't live here, did he? I don't know, I don't know what, what house this is. But if this is the same trailer he's living in now, holy fuck, I thought it was. Well, we'll, let's, we'll see. The layout looks way different. Green that you have. The floor looks like shit, though. That's why I thought it was. Oh, maybe I'm going to be a country realistic. star. Right. So say it. I'm not a country music star. I'm not yeah. going to be one. Don't say it, Lauren. I'm not going to say I'm not going to be one. Don't give up on your dream. You should. Don't do it. Because you don't like my singing doesn't mean that other people don't. You I have no stability in your talk. life. You don't even have a job. You can sing it. I'm saying you're not a country music star that you're going to be found out and then you're going to be signed to this label. You're going to have all these CDs and all these fans, and you're going to go out on tour. I, I, <laughs> come on. You're saying that my thing is sucks. <laughs> I'm saying it's the same. You're saying that you're wanting to be a country music star is the same thing as me saying I want to play center field for the Red Sox. It's just, it's unrealistic. I think she has a better it's chance not like center field thing. for the Red Sox. I, I agree. <laughs> but I agree. that's. Let's just say, let's say Lauren was a beautiful singer, right? He he doesn't have the resources or the drive to make anything of it. He lives in Cornville and he can't leave. Well, 
know, I've seen videos on on YouTube where it's someone standing on the on the street and they're singing cover songs and some of these videos have 50 million views like now now you could be anywhere and be discovered you don't even have to be discovered you can just make you can just make videos on your own put them on youtube make ad revenue the problem with lauren is even if he was a beautiful singer who l- looked like you know i don't know timothy chandelier that the one everyone loves um i don't know what the fuck that is uh, it's, uh, Shamalay, who's that guy that everyone's always talking about now? Timothy. Anyway, you can look it's like that guy. That. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> you look like that guy. He's a pedophile. So, <laughs> so it, it, uh, none of it matters. Yeah, him blowing up would be bad for him, well, actually. If, if he <laughs> he got would be ten, immediately swatted down. Exactly. It, it, it would be, it would be the, the story singer goes viral and then it's found out to be predator famous predator from to catch a predator and then it <laughs> hundreds just, of <laughs> hours of phone calls uncovered it was, it was, it was <laughs> the worst the worst possible thing that could happen to him would be any level more any attention. level of recognition because there's just too much stuff out there imagine the stories that would be made if lauren had a viral hit he'd be on tosh.0 he, he'd be mm. everywhere Hey man, bad for him. Rob Deerdeck would be a talking about good it for weeks. For me. <laughs> good, for, good for you, Sloth. Why yeah, is it good man. for you? Because then more views come to my channel. And you know <laughs> <laughs> That's true. I'd get a lot more traffic yeah. if, if more media. A lot famous. more traffic, actually, you know? Hmm. Okay. Yeah, I guess it'd be good for all of us and, and just catastrophic for him. <laughs> because I mean we're gonna we're like archive channels for when Lauren inevitably goes and shoots up a post office. Yes. Oh, yeah. yeah, this stuff is gonna be yeah, this exactly. is this is an investment. Wait, well, okay, wait a minute. I don't wait a minute. You I don't know if I want to be associated. Well, you made all those little cartoons. It's too late. It's too late. <laughs> yeah, I think we're past that. You're, You're gonna be featured on some like 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 channels. It's okay. <laughs> Karaoke is okay. Yeah. <laughs> if you were so great, they would have found you in Nashville, but they didn't. He found oh, in a month. You're just like uh, you're just like all the other. You were probably singers. in a fucking month. You're like all the other you're singers. Me, you know, you know what's funny about being, me being in Nashville so, and singing is when I went to uh, Buffalo Saloon, right across the road from fucking Wild Horse Saloon. There's speakers yeah. outside. When I when right. I sang, people would stop and look in the window and listen to me sing because there's so? speakers outside the window. So people yeah. could hear them. So what? People could hear the people that were singing. Yeah, they were when listening. When I was singing, people would stop and look. You think when I singing, I heard someone singing think- poorly in a karaoke bar, I would stop and watch. Bro, Jorn's entire mirror channel is only people who want to watch him sing shitty. I had a camera crew in Rhode Island <laughs> on <a> call <laughs> for any night that Jorn was doing <laughs> Karaoke. Oh, that is so fun. I was getting fifty dollars an hour to go and sit at open mic night to record Jorn's performances because they are so bad. So yes, if there, if I knew, if I knew that there was a place that locally that did an open mic and there were a lot of cringe singers, I would be there because that shit was right. hilarious. So I don't know why Lauren. It just any he just if people are stopping and and listening, it can only be. Because his voice is so beautiful that it stops him dead in their tracks. Yeah. Fucking idiot. Singing there, buddy. His bar was stopping. Who cares? You're singing at a karaoke bar. Maybe you were singing a song that they liked. A producer gave me a car. <laughs> a oh, wow. that's, like, that's like a photographer hanging out a card and be like, hey, here's a card. Take some pictures of you. They're like a dime a dozen. People with my voice is are not diamond. No, there's only one of them. Yeah, I know there's one of you. But you're not a star. <laughs> you're a karaoke singer. I have something to give to the fucking world. And it certainly wasn't fucking to catch a predator. Well, I wonder that's what it ended that. up being. Yeah. And maybe that was meant to be. That's how the world got to know you. That's how the world got to see the goofy fucking shit that you were up to. Maybe country music wasn't my thing at the time. It still isn't, though. And if I stop smoking, it's still not going to be. be. No. That's because you 
for one reason of that, that is because I don't sing to you like I like I should sing to you because I don't want to yell in your ear. You don't have to yell in order to sing well. No, but when I it's when I sing, I get into what I'm singing. It's just not meant to be. It's fine that you have this hobby, and when you get in your computer back, put out your videos of you singing. Do that. But that's it. That's all that it's going to be. And what if it turns out to be more? <laughs> it's not going to be. Stop hanging your head on that. Like, this is going to happen. I'm waiting for my big break. <laughs> How do you know it's not going to be? Well, I can't predict the future, Lauren, but I can be real about it. <laughs> There's nothing special. There's no spark. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> you don't think there's anything special on. about me singing? Yeah. No. Then what do you see in my singing? That you like to do, you like to do it because you like to do it. Just all that it's all that you like my voice. <laughs> it's, your voice is okay, but it's not. I wouldn't buy it. So any any anybody's voice would do. I'm saying, I'm telling you, I'm not talking about other people's voices. I'm talking about you. I wouldn't buy your singing because like I said, it's something you would hear in a karaoke bar. Anybody can get up to an open mic. But you also don't live, you also don't like country music. No, I don't like country music. It doesn't matter. You haven't sang all country songs. You sang Brian Adams. Yes, I really get if I can stop smoking. It's not Brian smoking. Adams. It's not smoking. Lauren, you're not going to be a country music star. Get real and put out your videos if you want to, but just understand that that's as far as it's going to go. You're not going to get signed <laughs> to this big label. They're not going to call you back to Nashville. You're not going on tour with Tim McGraw. With Tim McGraw? Travis Tritt. However, I, I don't even think I don't even think fucking Tim McGraw is that good. That's not even the point. You fucking can't. But you know what? He has he has a career, doesn't he? There's something. Uh, yeah, special he has about a career. Him. Yeah, he has a career. He has a, you know, the only reason he's got so much of the right is because of Faith Hill. Yeah. She's the one that's fucking good. Okay, so she's good. But they both have careers. I, I think a woman's fucking voice singing is so much better than a guy's anyway. Okay. But I'm okay, so then you're saying that women's voices are better he than yours. The, the yeah. yeah, he really does. Oh, women that can fucking sing, I, I fucking, I, it's like fucking Patty Loveless. <laughs> Just fucking. Okay, I don't know who that is. It I, doesn't matter. Emma can sing. No. I've heard her no, sing. Oh, like fucking Patty Loveless or Faith Hill. What? Oh, Shania oh, Twain. Yeah, but, but Ember doesn't say she wants to be a singer and compare herself to Shania Twain and Faith Hill. Yeah, but you're not like them either. Well, Leanne yeah. Rhymes, that's another you're one. Even, I know you know who Leanne Rhymes is. Of course I do. But you're not even... It makes me mad. Well, don't you know, get it makes mad. Me like we're just, it's it, not about smoking. I'm not mad at you. I'm, I'm not yeah, mad at you. He's mad I'm, I'm mad because I didn't impress you. I'm mad at RJ Rhymes. So I'm mad at myself. And then and I blame it all on the smoking. That's not the so smoking. So I need to quit smoking. It's the smoking. I know it's the fucking smoking. I know what ranges I can hit. I know what notes I can hit. You're I know how I can move my voice. You're not a professional. I can move. I'm not a professional writer. No, you're not a professional when singer. Singing, when, you know, when it comes to singing, I can hit the fucking same notes. Oh. All of it. There we go. Tell yeah. Yeah. Steve Perry. How many yeah. times, yes. how many times have story. you said, I can't hit that note? I can't hit that note? Oh. That it's all because of smoking. I can't hit the fucking note because of smoking because I don't have the air. And it affects my lungs. You're not a professional singer. I don't know how many times I have to tell you that, but I will. I'll keep telling you. I'm just saying. <laughs> I'm just saying. At this point, Lauren would have been better off charging at these men with their guns <laughs> because, <laughs> because I'm just saying, the last the years this this moment right here this is the turn this is the actual turning point of his life. <laughs> this right here. Like, right so before just, he turned around. Just, Lauren, just pretend you have a gun in your waistband and, and just be done with it. That's right. Wasn't yeah. and I joined the band that was in there. Okay. The guy <laughs> named Highway Run. That one. I can't remember the name of it. 
joining a prison band is like joining, you know, yeah, something guy, in school. Guy, like anybody guy can join. Me to hit the fucking notes that I that I didn't even know that I could hit, and I hit the fucking notes the same notes that fucking Steve Perry hit. Yeah, but you're not Steve the Perry. Whole band, the band played the fucking same notes the same way. The journey. <laughs> They played the notes. Jesus fucking Christ. <laughs> you mean they played sheet music? Is that, are you saying that they read and played sheet music, Lauren? Is well, that what, what they were Lauren's doing? What saying is they came with a song, and it just so happened to be the exact same song. Like, they so, wrote the song, <laughs> not realizing that it already existed. Oh. He's like, yeah, they played the notes the same way. Yeah, they were playing and reading sheet music, but, you know, a, a lot of people can play that, but who's Steve Perry? You're not singing like Steve fucking Perry. I hit the same notes. The no fucking way. <laughs> no fucking way did you hit the same note. The 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 gel house music room has some amazing acoustics. Play them. I bet you they didn't. Because they're not journey. Yeah, they did. Well, yeah, you don't was, even was know Randy, what you're talking about. Randy Jackson. Okay, well, well encourage me to quit smoking. It's not about smoking. I want to encourage you to be realistic. I'm being realistic. That's kind of, again, I bring it back to the whole baseball thing. If I was to say, you know what? If I just go out there and I work on my throw and I have a better listen. throw, I, I'm going to have a chance. No, you listen. I'm going to have a chance at the Red Sox. Wouldn't you say, come on, you're really, you're not going to be a professional baseball player. That's ridiculous. Listen, I'm going to marry you <laughs> and you are not going to be fucking poor. I am going to fucking make it in music one way you're or another. You're not. You're not. <laughs> and I'm, you're not. You're not going to make it. You're not going to make Emma it. Do call Emma and ask her? Do call no, Emma and ask her? I'm not, her. I'm not bothering him. Emma. There's a whole lot of people have a whole lot of different opinions on it. Yep. You're not a professional singer. What the fuck? What the fuck? It actually is frustrating that you can't get through to him. It really is. A sloth cat. No, my favorite, yes. favorite part. Well, you're the the. Were, are you ready? I put the uh, page four of the script in Discord and put it up here. Sloth cat. Yeah, I'm I'm getting to it. I have to. All right. Well, can you make noise so we at least know that you're there? You know what? <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay. Acknowledge us. Rumbling, rumbling. <laughs> Thank you. How hard was that? Okay. And let me know when you're ready. I'm ready. Thinking of the holidays. Think bang bang. That's hot. Uh uh. Think boom boom. We have a huge selection of 500 grams to light up your sky. That's hot. Hot. Uh uh. Buy one, get three free. Now that's hot. Come see the Bang Bang Lady on 431 South, just eight miles south of the 280 bypass. Oh, cool, her hot. All right, that's hot. All right, ready, Sloth? I mean, buy one, get three free is pretty fucking crazy. That is, a, that is a very good deal. And you get to beat both of them hot women, that black woman with no face. That's hot. <laughs> <laughs> Whenever you're ready. After, I'm ready. And act. After I cleaned up. No, that no. After I clean up, she's finishing her monologue. So you have to do the woman's voice again. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> After I cleaned up, she told her son, Daniel fetched some paper towels that was left behind on the kitchen counter from the previous owners. Here, mom. These were on the counter. Mariah gratefully took the paper towels and began wiping the blood from her face and hands. Thank you. Pulling her thoughts back to her, she looked at Daniel and asked, <laughs> How do you like your room? It's okay, I guess. Then you started out explaining it with less enthusiasm until 
he began getting more into his explanation. <laughs> then Mariah began to see the excitement grow in him, and she knew they were going to be all right in their new home. What the f- was that the end? <laughs> no, that's 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 the end of the first. Um, that's part one. There is definitely more because I remember more. But like none that of was. That was just a bunch of lines of nothingness. Nothing. Nothing that you could show on other than the sick Daniel saying that he liked the house and her asking that question. Nothing else could you portray on screen out of that screenplay. I'm still looking for the other pages of uh Oh yeah, if you can ra- if you can find those, we'll uh, we'll wrap up with that. But we're now we have a, a sloth cat cartoon, Debbie the Dominatrix. I know we've we, we've done this one a few times. We've never done the animated. So let's uh, look at this. Oh, Sloth Cat. I like yeah. that guy. Yeah, well, you're about the only one. <laughs> Damn. Whoa, watch out. Oh. Are you going to tell me what the fuck your problem is? Yeah. Go right ahead. You go to the game, you want to fucking sit on Will's lap, you go right ahead. I don't give a fuck. Does it make any sense to you that somebody is going to sit on somebody's lap for three hours? Does that make any sense to you, Lauren? Any? Don't give a fuck. I've never been to a fucking ball game. I don't know. I don't care. You're absolutely fucking retarded. You're retarded, Lauren. You don't care. You want to go go along with this fucking bullshit? Go right ahead. Lauren, what the fuck, man? What the fuck? What in the actual fuck is wrong with you? What? Oh, really? Yeah. Can you, really? Yeah, can you explain, yeah. please? He, he's the one that fucking made a sex doll of you and just fucked it last <laughs> night. And you accept the fucking offer to go to a ball game with him. Now he oh, says all this other fucking shit. Did you listen to the fucking voicemail where he's telling no. me to leave you alone that you're his? No. No, of course not. No, of course not. I'm not interested He's a fucking in weird fucking freak, voices. and you and you want to go to a fucking ball so game with him? Are you? So are you, bitch. <laughs> oh, okay. Fuck yeah, off, good. you fucking good you. bitch. Fucking bitch. Good and you. Fucking bitch. You're my <laughs> bitch, bitch. I'm your bitch. I'm your bitch. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you little bitch. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> But at least I smile when you say when you say I'm your bitch. Fuck off. <laughs> well, why are you getting all pissed off at me? I'm not the one who's fucking leaving all these messages of buying sex dolls. I'm mad at you because you can't even follow a little joke. Big fucking deal. A little, a little joke. There. If he, if not a fucking joke. I'm not. That he's gonna sit on somebody's lap for three fucking hours, <laughs> idiot. He's the one that wants to keep pressing this shit. And you just keep letting you him. let him. You let him, Lauren. You just I don't want to let him for your fucking oh, bullshit yeah. because you're a fucking little bitch. You can't follow anything. Anyone can say anything. Hey, Lauren, guess what? I know how to fly. I'm gonna fly past your house. Like, oh, okay, <laughs> let me step outside. <laughs> you're fucking retarded. You're I asked you. Retarded. This is why. Happy birthday, you follow Tiffany. everything that Winnie yeah. says. Yeah. He doesn't understand the word you don't follow. You follow everything that, that Will says. Anything. Anyone can say anything to you. I, I can't believe that you're not going to accept the ball game with that fucking freak. Why? Why? That's what he just did. He's my brother-in-law. I don't take him seriously. He's well, I don't as mean... retarded as you are, but not yeah. quite. You don't take him seriously when he buys a fucking sex doll and names it after you. I think that would be something that you'd be taking seriously because you didn't like it at all yesterday. Look how handsy and familiar Will's getting with with, uh, with her, though. And she's just letting it happen. And I worked my fucking ass off. <laughs> to okay, get, him, Morgan, to get, oh, get rid of the fucking thing. You worked so hard, I know. What'd you do, make no, a I did. call? I did. No, all three of them. <laughs> I can <laughs> hold them. They sucked Emma, too. Oh. Okay, so Emma got rid of them then. Emma, help me get rid of them. Help me to convince yeah. Winnie to get rid of the fucking things. And Emma probably worked harder than I did. I, I'm sure she did. I didn't make them fucking dolls. I didn't say that you did, 
Lorne. Well, it was your brother-in-law that did it. The yeah. Stuck the ball that looks like you. That he yeah. named after you. Yeah. yeah. So he's a fucking freak, but you want to go to a goddamn ball game with him. Who cares? He's fucking harmless. He's fucking harmless. I wouldn't harmless. be in the same fucking building yeah, as him. I get to see. Well, good. I'm sure he'll be happy to hear that, too. You're an idiot. Why? Because I don't like him? I don't trust him? No. Do I have to go and scream at you again? Can if you want to. No. I'm going to scare my dogs. I'm not like you. I don't just sit there and fucking scream normally. So how Fine, about... I am sorry. If you Did I get wound up? Say, I apologize for being a little bitch. And maybe <laughs> I won't delete and block you. Go ahead. Don't be so demanding all the time. Talk. <laughs> apologize. I am sorry for being a little fucking bitch <laughs> and getting pissed off at your fucked up brother-in-law. I didn't and you. I didn't. said, apologize for being a little bitch. Uh, oh, tough. I did what I did. You're not going to do that to me every fucking time. Not every time. I'm not going to do <laughs> that to you. What are you talking about? You're not going to be demanding to me like that every fucking time. I can do whatever the fuck then, I want. And think that I'm not going to fucking say something. I can do whatever the fuck no, be I want. Like I said, you're hey, a again. bitch. You're whatever. a fucking bitch, Lauren. Don't answer the fucking phone then, you little bitch. Come on, boy. What's the problem? You'll keep taking it, and you'll fucking like it. Yeah. <laughs> Don't think I won't laugh about it because I will. Go ahead and laugh about it because I am. I laugh uh, at you every time you send your bitch little messages. You're like, well, it was seven hours ago that you said something to me and you waited 30 yeah, minutes well, to say goodnight. And then, so that was because you were out with somebody. And then because you. I didn't say that. That's what you were thinking. No, it wasn't. Of course it was. No, it was not. Yes, it was. Oh, I was thinking it was fuck you, can't even fucking leave me a message to let me, let me know something. No. Of course not. Whatever. I don't need to do shit. Of course not. You're a I little know. mosquito with a little mosquito dick. Aren't you fucking <laughs> embarrassed? <laughs> really? Buzzing no. around in my ear, begging to suck something out of me. Isn't that fucking cunning? <laughs> begging to suck something out of you. You like to. Of really? course you would. If I said suck something out of me, you would do it. How does it feel, Lauren? I'm not Will. You're almost 55 years old, and you're a bitch. Uh, really? I'm not even 50 yet. You're a fat ass bitch. <laughs> no one's ever liked you a day in your fucking life. I know. Except for you. Except for a decoy. What was that, Tila? I, I was just like, these are getting pretty uh, pretty pointed and personal. They're I, really I'm mean. Like, There's yeah, zero really dark shit. Playfulness in it. She's no. very upset. She hates him and she wants him to know. It's like the last call she's told him he can't sing. You can't sing. You're a fucking joke. And on this call, she's telling him what a, like he's ugly, he's fat, he's gross, no one likes him, and he's still like he's in love with her. He's still on board. Yeah, it's depressing. Koi. A decoy liked you. <laughs> Someone had to be paid to like you. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> if I was you, I'd probably drive into a guardrail or, guardrail or something. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> that gives you something to laugh about. It would. I know. Yeah. I'd be like, you didn't, finally. You didn't, you didn't, yeah, finally, that asshole's gone. Yeah. I don't have to ever have to talk to him again. I don't have to talk to you anytime I don't want to. How about, about that? How about that? <laughs> oh god freak. I'd slap your stupid fucking ugly face just to see if maybe it would I'd slap your stupid fucking ugly face yeah but you like me <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. 
<laughs> an improvement. Brain dead. Maybe I could it shift it a little so your fucking eyes would be straight. Oh my god. I know it. Oh I know it. <laughs> uh, you're so cute when you get mad. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Uh, so what's this fucking bullshit with Will wanting to fucking cause all these problems? Talk to him about it. What the fuck do I have to do about it? Nothing. Well, it's all, it's all based around you. So what? Tell him, uh, tell him, stop being such a fucking freak. Oh, okay, I'll tell him. Imagine how Winnie's feeling right now. Winnie's fine. Winnie's fine. She's fucking crying on one of the messages. Yeah, poor thing. Okay, so have you called her to see how she's doing? No. That's why I want you to listen to a message. I'm not listening listen. to her messages. I don't care. Oh, so so Debbie wasn't calling him because she was on this boat or whatever she was out doing. So instead of calling Winnie to try and make sure she's okay, he wanted he needed to get a hold of Debbie. He had something really important he needed to tell Debbie. Right? And then she calls him and he's probably like, well, have you listened to the messages? Just to get her on the phone. And Will fucking tries to blame me and says, yeah, It's all about that, that quantity that time. And I told her that she oh. should go. It was Will that told her that she shouldn't go. Yeah, so? So? So what? So what? So, so what? You tell me. <laughs> Is that nice? <laughs> Who cares? Well, obviously I do. Yeah, because you listen to something that... You listen to anything that anyone tells you, and you take it as the truth. Um, he, he's in an awful fucking hurry to get there to be alone with you. I was, I was telling you how much I didn't fucking like it. So? So? He was in an awful hurry to fucking tell Winnie's ticket when she said she wasn't wasn't going to go. And she said so? five minutes ago, but, but the ticket was had been on the fucking internet, she said, for 48 minutes. But it was only five minutes before when she told him that she didn't want to go. Whatever, Lauren. Whatever. Well, oh, well, that's winning. That was when Winnie had bought, bought tickets to go see Lauren, right? And then he broke up with her and told her to cancel the tickets. And then tried to change his mind. And they, But they'd already refunded. They'd already got the refund for the tickets. That was Jamie, no, I think. No, this just... Well, what you mean? Is this what they're talking about right now? Oh no! I thought you, no, the story no, it happened before. It happened, with, it happened with Winnie too. Oh, it happened twice. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> he, wait, <clears throat> what, you're talking Winnie and Jamie, or the robot Jamie? Robot Jamie. No, yeah, no. This definitely happened before that too, because uh, it's. I remember. There, I don't know which call it is, but there's a call where they're talking about it because Lauren wants her to buy the ticket again, but. Winnie had already can't when Lauren broke up with her. Winnie canceled it to get the full refund, and he wants her to just book it again. But now it's going to cost more money. No, I wouldn't I'm know not, much. Winnie I'm not, I'm not dragging a whole bunch of shit out. You know what I mean? Like I really don't fucking care. Well, Will's a fucking freak. Okay, good. I'm tired of fucking dealing with Will. Okay, good. Can I go now? I don't want. Can if you want to. Okay, have one at the fucking ball game. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Uh -oh. I came looking for booty. <laughs> oh no! I ain't got no milk, no cookies, nothing. I came looking for man's butt. Uh -oh. Now I tell you what, I like you, and I want you. <laughs> Now we can do this the easy way or we can do it the hard way. The choice is yours. No, no! <laughs> Jesus <laughs> Christ, <Lonka>. Long <laughs> <Wow. laughs> Oh, that's fucked. Oh, God damn it. I need your help. 
Oh shit. Oh shit. You see that? The multiverse. Yeah, with me and clobber time. I knew it clobbing, was real. Me and clobbing time. <laughs> that, was, <laughs> that was that was great. Um so guys, that was uh that was it for, well, for... well real quick. Um yeah. oh you got more pages? Yeah, he actually wrote a lot more than I thought he did. Well, so, we can't do, we can't do them all tonight. No, no, no. I just think we got to do an extra page because that page. Oh yeah, absolutely. Read because yeah, that page sucked. Yeah, you want to drop that in uh, in Discord? Yes, sir. Let me. And at this point, he's really just given up the idea. This is a screenplay because this one starts with chapter two. <laughs> 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 so he just fully gave up. Soon to be a major motion picture. Yeah, it just transitioned to a book. So, all right, let me get it. It's in the it's in the Discord. Yeah. And you can see all of these um, documents if you join the Mo Negroes Discord. Link is in the description below. Yeah, guys. Um, the. The signups have slowed down a bit the the past two weeks, but we're still like MoFest is still going on. Everything is still going on. The, don't worry about the issues with DJ Payne One. We're gonna try and get those things ironed out. Uh, TLY, you're gonna be there spinning, of course. You know, before and after DJ Payne's set. Well, well, DJ Payne's yeah. not gonna be there. Then we got little. Oh, X. right, right. Yeah, th yeah. Little yeah. XX is replacing DJ Payne One. Far more talented. My, you got little Nas X to show up. No, no, little XX. Oh, <laughs> that's that's right. <laughs> wow, Damn, that, that I was guy. excited for a minute there. I was the, like, "Wow, we are really doing things." The baby, the baby. Uh, Chapter two. <laughs> Mariah looked down at the last of the dishes in the sink that was left over from dinner. Her mind ran through the things she had to do the next morning before going to her new job at the Oakland Bakery. Daniel! Mariah shouted as she continued washing the dishes. Don't forget to put your notebook in your backpack for school tomorrow. Turning back to the finish the dishes <laughs> she heard her son yell out Okay, mom. Then raised her head to look out the window above the sink at the night. Mar what? <laughs> at the night. You just want to look at the night. <laughs> Mariah's Mariah screen has a touch page. of the autism. She does. This is ridiculous. Mariah screamed as she was startled and frightened by the face that was pressed against the window. Oh, shit. The face began sliding down slowly with shocking expression. <laughs> Mariah covered her mouth with both hands in sudden fear. She began to sob from fright and worry, <laughs> moving quickly to her cell phone on the counter her hand shook viciously as she fumbled at dialing the numbers 911. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, no. 911 send. Why send? <laughs> Why is he dialed send? send? Well, the, the send button, the send button on the phone. Do you have a button on your phone that says send? I don't have a pedo phone, but I'm and pretty sure. Wait, <laughs> and if it says send, was she texting 911? Well, she, well, you dial nine one one, then you have to press like call. Yeah, this says press send though. Well, because I'm on the old, I want to say we're on the old like flipping phones that they did. They were it was a send button. What's what's a what's an old phone that is a flip phone? What's a, I'm looking this up. Motorola StarTag or the Razor, the original flip phone, the Motorola StarTag. I'm looking this up. If it had a send button. This is riveting. I, I know you guys are waiting around for this. <laughs> um. Oh, there was a send. There was an end send. I don't know what. What does STO mean? STO. 
Stow. We going to the stow, bitch. That's a stow button. All right, walking shoes on. We're going to the stow. We're on the bus at the stow. All right, yeah, the Motorola StarTac. I want right. this phone. So, yeah, well, there you go. There's tractor. My old cell phones back when that thing came out, and it was six hundred and fifty dollars. Was it really? Yeah. It was, I it wonder was, how much I can buy one for. It was the world's smallest phone at the time, and people there was a line of people to come get the Motorola StarTac. I can get one right now for forty four dollars. There you go, You're saving big money. Oh, does anyone have any birthday wishes they wish to share with uh, Tiffany before we close out? Yes, Tiffany, um, happy birthday. We don't know what we'd do without you. Um, you're you're one I in a million. Hands on me and dirty talk. Maybe no, we're not lunch. doing no. <laughs> nope, we're not doing that. No, keep it to yourself, Tiffany. Okay. <laughs> Uh, I appreciate it, but no. Yeah. Definitely. Um. We we miss you, and um, we wish you were here. Um, Tli. Hey, happy birthday, Tiffany! I. Fuck. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. <laughs> All right. Uh, no, I, yeah, I, anything else? I was Perfect. eating crackers. <laughs> Sorry. Fluffcat. Happy birthday, Tiffany. And I know you were so honored being in a sloth cat cartoon. Mm -hmm. You don't have to tell me that, okay? Yeah. Way to make it about yourself. Yeah, no, because really. That's... I know art, and you can ask TLI. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. Sloth cat <laughs> knows art. That's true. Hang the hell up. Yeah. All right, uh, Tiffany, fuck off. Thank you so much everyone uh for joining us and candy cane thank you for <laughs> and candy cane you son of a bitch Appreciate thank you, you actually because yeah, i made you. five bucks yeah, you, so, so thank you for uh you know what candy cane and i planned this i was gonna offer you i knew she wasn't showing up so she's getting 250 isn't she <laughs> yes yeah, so she's getting through video <laughs> <laughs> y'all hustled me you splitting the money <laughs> uh right. but for real though um send that in the mail western union i don't care just get it to me hey tiffany Hi, honey. Hi, it's Perry. Yeah, this is Perry. Now, now, this was booked by Westmos. Westmos, yeah. Who I have a lot of problems with. Yeah, he made a website having a pool party at my apartment complex, which is complete bullshit and a fucking fabrication, which is never to happen. There's not a pool party here. I never, I never allowed a pool party here. And, and the pool is uh, not meant for more than 10 people at a time. And those are tenants that live in this complex. Not a fucking party with a bunch of uh, people from, from other facilities coming into having a pool party here. It's just a fabrication and a lie beyond belief. All right? That's all bullshit. But I assume and I believe you're a very nice young lady, you're a nice woman, and that's not my fault, nor is it your fault that I hear that I hear it's your birthday. Whoops. I don't know what I'm what I'm reading here. So so fuck it. Happy birthday, Tiffany. I hope you have a lovely birthday. I hope everything works out great for you on your birthday, you know. Uh you love you love bananas and ketchup. I hope you don't like bananas and ketchup together. Because that doesn't sound good. That's almost like bananas and or, or, um, um, oh, wait, 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 there was, there was something with peanut butter, uh, peanut butters and pickles, that was it, uh, when I was a little kid, I was a peanut butter ad maniac, and some girl, uh, had, had peanut butters and pickles, it was, like, the most disgusting thing, and I hate pickles, to this day, I still can't stand pickles, all right, I can't stand them with a fucking passion, some people like to sneak them around and put them in my food and and, and make me eat pickles. You know, they'll, they'll disguise them by putting putting uh, some some coating on it or something. Shit. And then all of a sudden, I, I finish eating the, the the batch like it looks like uh, French fries or something. Oh, those were pickles. You know, and I ate them. You know, Whoa! You know, it kind of scares the shit out of me sometimes when I hear that stuff. But uh, now now I hear uh, you're super hot, which is uh, a compliment to you and it's also a compliment to me because I'm reading 
a letter to a hot young lady uh, and that you want to date me. Well, if you want to date me, please contact my publicist so we can work things out and maybe hook up. That would be very nice and I would like to hear from you. And when this pandemic gets a little bit calmer and uh, we can see each other face to face, uh, maybe I will do so. But you hear the RC and think I, I'm I'm into dudes. It's a fucking fabricated lie. It's all bullshit and it's a big scam. It's absolutely wrong and it's a crock of bullshit, all right? So no, I'm not a homosexual and never have been, never will be, all right? <clears throat> so I'm sorry for getting this to you late, but I do hope you have a great birthday. And if you're and if uh, your series about serious about dating me, again, get in touch with me privately. You can you know send me uh, messages on my Instagram at uh, Scary Perry WCH or uh, write me back on uh, Perry Caravel Live on uh, on my live streams that I do every Tuesday, Fridays, and Sundays. All right, pleasure to, to uh, send you a cameo, and it's pleasure to talk to you. Hope to hear from you. Thank you. Fuck all of you, you motherfuckers. Good day, you fucking assholes. Well, that was interesting. Are you through with this nonsense now? And name's 